Hey guys, just a minute. Let me get set up here. Hi, Kenny. Hi, BDI Beth, Jersey. How's everybody doing this morning? Let's see here. Looks pretty good. Hi, Diane. Hi, Artsy. Dawn. Hey, Pacola. Darla, Barbara, Louise. Hi, Julie. Morning. Hiya, Sammy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hi, Pamela, Joey, Christine. Oh, you liked, yeah, if y'all didn't see, Hubster and I did a little video yesterday. It was only about 30 minutes. Um, I'll pull that book back out to show you. <laughs> we had fun. We had fun. I wanted to show that book, so Hubster goes, well, I'll do it with you. So he was a, he was a trooper. <laughs> Uh, hi, Michelle, Teresa, anybody else I missed? If you're watching this um, as a recording or if you're here for the first time, we do a few minutes of good mornings and chats and how you doing and what you do over the weekend kind of thing. So if you want to get to a project, just fast forward. Oh, thanks, Jersey. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, hi, Color Me Happy. Uh, Benny. <laughs> Hi, Ian. How you been? Kim. Oh, Pacola. So friendly ways to everyone coming in. Have you always liked... I know. <laughs> he was just trying to make conversation, Sammy. Have you always liked art? I mean, you know, four decades with the man, you think <laughs> he would know, <laughs> right? <laughs> Seriously, though, he's my biggest fan. He's my biggest art supporter. So <laughs> he was just trying to make conversation. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Yeah, he was just trying to make conversation. <laughs> I, I even looked at him like, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Oh, I am. I, I do want him to do some book tubing, you know, uh, do some book reviews and <coughs> talk about the books, you know, that he's he's reading and likes like he's, you know, he, he talked briefly about um, the DJ girl book. Um, but I wanted to kind of focus on the color book because, you know, Aaron sent it and I wanted to kind of focus on it. So I didn't want to get too, you know, in the weeds. <laughs> uh, uh, Janet, did you have a good Mother's Day? Hi, Zeely. Hi, Terry. Oh, there's Terry. So, um, yeah, I know. He's so cute, isn't he, Kenny? He is. He's he's so cute. Hi, Kimberly. Mama four. Let's see here. Let me get to my soundboard. You did went to a barbecue. Oh, that's that's uh different than your usual pizza, right? Good morning, Terry. <laughs> um, yeah, so if y'all didn't see it, Hubster and I did like a 30, 35 minute video yesterday and um doing a color book page. I'll show the pages we colored here in a minute. You're welcome, Terry. Hi, Marie. <laughs> it was fun, though. He's he's fun. I'm sure I'm missing. Hi, Sparkle. We love Hubsby. Definitely your biggest fan. Yes, he is my biggest fan. He is. <laughs> uh, hi, Melody. Melody, I came across... Um, let me find that here. Well, I'll show it in a minute. 
um, I came across. Did you color that picture on Facebook, Melody? Let's see here. That was awesome. I was scrolling through Facebook this morning. I went, I wonder if Melody colored that. Hi, Devin. Hi, Robin. <clears throat> Did you color that picture, Melody? Yeah, Chad is flying. I think you did. I mean, I don't know. You didn't put anybody else that colored it, so I'm assuming you did color it. I was going to show it if you did. Um, the only thing about Hubster and I's video is the sound was a little... We were kind of far away. We were far away from the mic. Uh, yeah, the Mardell Rubio. Yeah, okay. Here, Melody did this. Here, look at this. Yeah. Here's Melody's. Melody colored this one. It's a Mardell Rubio. So good, Melody. You did awesome. It's not quite showing up on camera. There we go. Good job. I know. Didn't she do good? I know. That's awesome, Melody. Oh, thank you, Devin. Yeah, the sound was it was a little because he was he was way away from the mic. I was kind of close, but he was he was, you know, on the other side of me. And I could have put the mic over here, but there wasn't a lot of room with the cat there. I guess I could have put the microphone just stuck it on top of Oliver. <laughs> uh, oh, there's two pictures. Oh, let me go look again then. I only saw the one. Let me go back over here to Facebook. Let's see here. Hey, Jean, how you doing? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, that one's not. I like the other one. This one's good too, Melody, but I like the bright colors in the other one. But they're both awesome. Look at that. Look at that detail in those blue flowers. Those flowers are awesome, Melody. Well, so is the so are these, but I really love those blue ones. Very good. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Excellent. So those are some pictures that Melody posted. Oh, good, Jean. Good. I know, Melody, you did awesome. So I have some new books to show, and um, then we're going to work in this one. I'm going to use gouache as a base anyway. Oh, no, you, you don't need any encouragement, Melody. Look how good you did. Oh, my gosh. But, I mean, it's nice for people to say they like it, but it's still. Um, and I didn't comment over there because I just saw them, so I, I should probably comment later. Um but at least let me put some hearts over there. So, yeah. Hi, B. Who else am I missing? Hi, Kim. <clears throat> Sharon M. Uh, who else? Becky. Hi. Oh, don't, oh, don't pay attention to us, Jersey, if you're, uh, are you on the way to shopping? <laughs> are you getting ready to go to Michael's, Jersey? <laughs> don't, don't, don't type while you're driving. <laughs> and do you have a, can you uh, talk it? Can you, can you say it and it'll show up? I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're good to get some coffee going here, people. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Julie, how was your weekend? Hi, Teresa. So, again, if you're new or if you're watching the recording, we spend a little bit. I come on early to spend a little time saying good morning to everybody. Hi, Rachel. 
and and I do miss people. So, and also guys, a couple things, don't forget, if you talk to me, put it in caps. And also guys, not just for my, um, I watched a couple of uh, recordings over the weekend. And so I couldn't, I couldn't put it in comments, but they were saying, you're not seeing my chat. I think it might've been Becky's. Um, somebody was saying, you're not, you're not seeing me in chat. Y'all, you streamers, make sure and tell your peeps to click the live chat because uh, it defaults to top chat. So when it defaults to top chat, if people don't change it to live chat, they're not going to see all the chat. So some people thinking they're not being seen in chat may not have the live chat option clicked. Make sure you click the live option so that you see all the chat. Oh, yeah. Hi, Chloe. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to, I'm going to go through them here in a minute and we're going to color in this one. I tried to get Janet to buy this one. <laughs> Got this one at Hobby Lobby. Um, these two, these two at uh, Barnes and Noble on clearance. And this one came from the artist. So, and we're going to color in this one. Hi, Sean. Who else am I missing? Oh, oh yeah, Becky, because some people don't, don't realize that. And you have to tell them, especially new people. The other thing to tell your peeps is the little, um, the little gear wheel under the video. Make sure that you click at least 720. I have, I record in 1080p. Um, but sometimes that could buffer people. So, but you want to have your little gear setting to 720 or 1080p because YouTube can default you back down to 144 and it's fuzzy. So make sure that your peeps know that they need to change the little gear to, you know, the highest thing they can uh, watch it on. <clears throat> Oh, you could go into Hobby Lobby. Record, Jersey. Record it. <laughs> if you if you plan on making a video, record it. Uh, so, yeah, because uh, a lot of people don't know that. I know. It is annoying when that happens, Sean, but people don't know to change it. So they're sometimes watching top chat and not seeing it all, or they're watching a fuzzy video because their little gear has defaulted to 144 or something. You know, so you need... And you and we can't fix that for you. You have to do that individually. And you should check that on every video, whether you're watching a recording, a recording or a live, because on the recorded video, it defaults to top chat as well. So you're not going to see the live chat, the whole live chat. If you're one that uh, records it like I do. It's going to default to top chat. So when you're watching the video back, the recording, you're not going to see all the chat unless you click live chat. Okay. So you have to remind people to do that because a lot of new people don't know that. <clears throat> and thanks everybody for the nice comments and for watching the little video Hubster and I did yesterday. Uh, it was only about 35 minutes, and it was just a recording. We, there was way, way too many people streaming yesterday, so we just did a recording. And, um, yeah, let me find it here. So we, we did a little um, a little color. We colored together in this book by uh, Aaron Shepard and Anna, what's it, Watson? Anna Watson. And... Um, so this is what we did. I cut them out. So this is the one I colored, and that's the one Hubster colored. So we colored these with just some Copic markers. We colored about 30 minutes, and uh, it was fun. He, he, he likes doing it, I think. You know, he, I, he, I know he probably preferred to color in the Western book, but it was Mother's Day, so we decided, you know, I, well, I wanted to do flowers, and he picked this one himself. So, um, yeah, <laughs> so we colored these together. Thanks, guys. It was fun. We had a lot of fun. It was, it was a short video, comparatively speaking, you know, as long as mine are three to four hours, you know. And so a 30, 35-minute video is short for me. 
So anyway, um, yeah, he colored that, this one. I colored that one. And it's just Copic markers, nothing else. No shading, no anything. But it's a grayscale book. So I did flip through the whole book. So if you want to see the whole book, then go ahead and watch that video. And then uh, this one I showed too, the other one that Aaron sent me. And this one is going to Miss Vicki B. So uh, I wanted to make the video before I sent it out to her. So now that I made the video, I'll send this out to her and her daughter this week. So it's the, it's the little storybook one. And again, I showed this one too and talked about how she made, um, how she does that. Ann Watson, that's uh, Aaron's wife. Yeah. So anyway, oh, you watch the first. Okay, thanks, Robin. It was fun. Yeah, uh, yeah, Sean. And he he likes he likes doing it. And what I really want him to get in, you know, he's he's not an artist. He doesn't call he doesn't do anything like this. He's very supportive of me, but he's a big reader. And so uh, uh there's reading with Robin is here. So maybe uh, you know, I'll have to have him go, you know, peruse some of the booktubers videos. And uh so he can talk. He can talk about books, you know, a lot. Like I said, he's reading. I don't know if he left it in the, let me see if he left it by the bed. Let me go see. If it is, I'll show it to you. Well, he left it by the bed, but the dust jacket is downstairs. So the book is just plain. You can't see anything. So if I go downstairs and get some coffee, I'll try to rem uh, remember to bring that uh, dust jacket up. On the D-Day, the girl, I thought it was the D-Day women or girls of D-Day, something like that, uh, about the British uh, girl spies in World War II. So, yeah, that's what he's reading about, the MI6 girls in World War II. So, yeah. Um, Cindy reads is a funny book to her too. Okay. Oh, okay. Cindy reads. All right, I'll write that down. Thanks, uh, Sean. Cindy reads. Okay. I wrote that down. So anyway, hi, Mark. Hi, Kat. I'm sure I'm missing people. Wendy, who else is popping in here? So thanks everybody. Thanks for all the thumbs up already. I appreciate those thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're talking to me, put it in caps. Hi, Susie. Um, so I know that you're talking to me because the chat does fly. When I get, I'm sitting here reading it now, so I'm seeing it all. But when I go to uh, talk about something, I'm looking away. You know, the chat's rolling pretty quickly. So, hi, Kia. Hi, Ka uh, Ka Kyla. Kayla. Kayla. Kalming. Ka 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 uh, Debbie, did you see yesterday's? Yes, I did watch the Curiosity Inc. Yes, um, I can't. Um, I don't know if Josh did. Uh, did he? Sh did Josh show it on Instagram? I don't know. Let me look up Instagram. I can't show up the video, obviously, but let me look up on uh, IG and see if he posted that picture. Um, is it? What is his name of his? Um, is it painting? Finger paint? What's the name of his? Do you know the name of his Instagram? Gene, um, it's not Josh, is it? It's, um, oh, my hands gallery. There it is. My hands gallery. Okay, here it is. So Josh, Joshua Alexander worked with, if y'all don't know, Curiosity Inc., the, um, the guy and his family that redid Mary Potter, the Mary, the Potter's house house. Well, anyway, I won't go into that whole long story. If Jean wants to talk about it in chat, she can. Um, but let's see here. Let me find. Oh, did he not post Mary's picture? There's all other kinds of pictures here, but I don't see the one of Mary. Maybe he hasn't had a chance to do that yet, Gene. But anyway, he paints with, he does the hand, finger painting. Well, I'll show you an Einstein one that he's done. Here's one of his, so it's my hands gallery. There's one of his Einsteins that he's done. He paint. he finger paints. Yeah. Thanks, Christine. He finger paints. Um, all these. And he did one of Mary from the Potter's house with a mask looking at herself, but I don't see it here. 
Um, I don't see it, Jean. But y'all go watch Curiosity Inc. and they show it. They do a final walkthrough of the house. Oh, okay. That's good. Thanks, Jean. Uh, they do a final walkthrough of the house. And uh, Joshua did a, um, a finger painting of Mary, the the previous, you know, the Art Potter woman who she did pass away a few weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago. And um, so anyway, you need to watch all, there's like 25 episodes or something like that on Curiosity Inc. of the Potter's House where they went from day one through yesterday was a final walkthrough. Okay, thanks, Jean. Um, I, I do a little finger painting, but I don't do anything like that Joshua does. Y'all, if y'all remember, I did uh, I did the Wizard of Oz. I think it was during last Halloween. I did the Wicked Witch and the Tin Man. I did some finger painting on the big scroll where I rolled out the brown paper and we did a uh, we did a finger painting. I don't want to go dig it out right now. I'm not even quite sure where it is. Yeah, you just put your finger. <laughs> Uh, but it's on Instagram. Let me see. I think I posted on Instagram. No, maybe I didn't. Anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll pull it out some other time. Um, oh, thanks, Sammy. Yeah, the Oz one's one of the most watched streams. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Um, I don't know if I, I have it folded up over here. Let me flip through real quick so you can just kind of pops out here. Because it's huge. You know, it's, it's on a big sheet of paper. Hang on, it's an ASMR moment. Yeah, I don't know where it is right, right now. I think I have it folded up somewhere. Because it's big. You know, it's a big rollout. So... Okay, so let's go ahead and get crack a lacking, guys. We've been saying good morning for a while. And um, <laughs> thanks, Mark. I just, you know, the, I used to keep them on the roll, but then when I wanted to show something, I had to unscroll, unroll, roll, roll to find something. So I just cut them out now. <clears throat> I just cut them out of the roll. So, oh, that's true, Azure. Uh, one of the things that Joshua did on the Mary's painting is that they found some of her um, pottery pigments in, in the house or in the barn uh, or the garage. And um, he used some of her pigments in part of the painting. Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, guys. So let me go ahead. We are going to work in this book today, but I'm going to just show a couple other books first. So, um, and then we'll do a peruse. I already have one picked out. I have one picked out here to work in. But I got this one, Hobby Lobby. I use a 40% off coupon. Hobby Lobby got a whole bunch of new books in. And, uh, they're, of course, they're not on clearance yet. Let me go ahead and zoom in one here. They're not on clearance or anything. So you want to use your 40% off. Uh, Hobby Lobby is one of the, like, Michael's, you can't use a coupon. But Hobby Lobby, you can use 40% uh, coupons. Hi, Julia. Hi, Lou. Uh, anybody else I might have missed? Thanks for popping in. Thanks for all the thumbs up, guys. And, um, but this one, and I don't know that I'll, I have other books on map making because I love cartography. It's hard to say that. I love the study of maps, and I have a lot of books on maps, about maps, making maps. So this was a new one, you know, had to have it, making maps. I don't know that I'll make this map. I have watched uh, different documentaries on people that do make awesome maps but what i liked about this was the illustration eye candy in it and y'all know i collect me some art books collect i collect a lot of books but especially <laughs> art books and um <clears throat> so i i had to get this so it's the art of map illustration a step-by-step -step artistic exploration of contemporary cartography and map making and it is uh, by, well, there's, I think there's four, I think there's four, three or four different artists that contributed to it. So, um, yeah, I just loved the illustrations in it. 
Uh, squid. Okay, so uh, Sean says Steve Turner, aka Squid Doodle, does amazing coloring maps and prints. Okay, I'll have to write that down. Squid Doodle. Oh, I got a tweet too. Hang on. Squid. Where Where'd you go there, Sean? Squid Doodle. Okay, I'll have to look that up. Let me Let me tweet real quick, guys. Um. One moment. Oh. <laughs> Coffee and art in the morning. Put a couple of emotes there. Where's my coffee cup? There we go. Link in profile. There we go. Yet to move cells. Okay, we'll pack away, Rebecca. Have a have a hope you have a good move, safe move. Are you moving to another state, another country? Or you how what how big of a move is it? <clears throat> Hi, Julia. Oh, thank you so much. And guys, I do try to go back and um, skim through the chat. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thank you for the for the super chat. Thank you so much. I do try to go back and skim through the chat. And if I see new people, I try to go find them. Since you, oh, you did? Okay, thank you. All right. So Jean took a screenshot of Joshua's painting. Let me go find it here. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, so this is. Let me turn it sideways. So this is the photograph that uh, Josh used. That's Mary the Potter, and she's holding it like a mask, you know, a, 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 some kind of a clay mask there. And so they showed that. And then here's the painting that Josh did. Let me scroll, move in. And here's the painting that Josh did of her. So some of the pigments in the mask were her pigments. And all these uh, symbols back here on the back, they found notebooks and papers and all kinds of things of Mary. And they found where she was trying to figure out or design her signature. And these marks here were on the paper where she was trying to decide her signature. They, it, she ended up using, I think this one was her signature. She ended up trying, uh, ended up using, but Josh, Joshua put those marks in here as part of the painting. And this is all finger painting guys. He finger paints all this. So yeah, follow him on Instagram and he has a YouTube channel too. Jean's, Jean's more than welcome to put any links in there if she wants to. And, and they're all Canadian. They're all Canadian. So Jean has a special affinity for them. <laughs> I know, Azure. I know, right? Okay. So uh, the art of map and illustration, step-by-step -step artistic exploration of contemporary cartography and map making. And again, I loved all the illustrations. So there, I believe there are four, I believe, uh, let's say James Gulliver Hancock, Henny Hayworth, Stuart Hill, and Sarah King. And they each have a section in the book on how they make their maps and how they illustrate theirs. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show you every page, but I want to kind of show you a couple of pages of each one of their stuff. So, of course, it always starts with tools and materials. And then, like, here's Henny. So I bought it for the art of it the illustrations and the art of it. And um, I just love, I love them. I love, you know, I love, y'all know, I love me some art. <laughs> um, so here's art tools, making a map. And it's so steps, step by steps. Of course, if you, you could do Google Earth and find a section of a town, a city, and you could, you know, and you don't have to copy it. You could hand draw it. It doesn't have to be geographically correct. But you could do, uh, you know, let's just say you wanted to do Paris. Well, you could do a Google Google uh, Earth search of Paris and, you know, put some main streets and then do like they did and pick out um, pick out parts of Paris that you know. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Terry. Terry put a link to Amazon. Yeah, one of these days I'll get a, a, an Amazon affiliate. I know, I know. Terry, don't, don't email me. Uh, and then you... <laughs> 
<laughs> you can put just different parts of things around the city to do your own illustration or your own um, map. So, but look at this, guys. See, look. Look at the buildings, the logos and landmarks. I mean, you know, look at that. It's just so cool. I just love the illustrations in the book. So, um, even if you don't do anything, do a neighborhood map. Um, even if you don't make the map, it's good eye candy. Exactly, Terry. Uh, then there's thing talking about details and different ways to do details and the kind of pens and tools and everything. And uh, <clears throat> let's see, did I get to another artist yet? I, no, I guess not. Urban maps, details, how to do city maps. Here's an artist gallery. I mean, look at all the eye candy in here, guys. You don't have to want to make. And then here's Stuart Hill. And then look at the different style. This one's Digi. So he does his Digi. But look at the different way that his looks. Totally a different style. Different color palettes and just a total different style. Um, you know, it's just art inspiration regardless if you're going to make any maps or not. But look at all his little... Uh, illustrations that he does, and he does all his digi. I know, right, Sparkle? Isn't it just the best? Uh, then let's get to the next artist. James Gulliver. Han oh, James Gulliver Hancock. And again, here's one of Montreal. Here's, a, here's like a real map. And then how he goes about making it his own. And the illustrations that he uses. And look at his is very, um, very, I don't want to say bold. I'm not sure exactly what kind of style you'd call it. But um, it, they're all just so different. And then here's one with the solar system. Here's one where did all the planets and wrote about the planets on each one. And they say in here, it's not to scale. It's not obviously not to scale of the size of the planets, but they wrote and did little illustrations and little details about each planet. It's just, so, it's just an awesome book. So then the artist gallery and then Sarah King, Sarah King has very uh, inky, very inked, uh, type of style. It almost looks like a, and I haven't read this one yet, but it almost looks like a uh, carved, you know, wood block carving. Yeah. So. Anyway, it's just, like I said, the eye candy uh, of it all. So, yeah. Wanted to show you that one. There's a lot of skill and love. Yeah. Oh, for, for real cartography, for sure. I have all kinds of books on maps and map making and the history of cartography and and uh, different art books on cartography. So, um, but it's just one of my things I love. So I had to get that one. Then a couple other books. These two I got at... Um, Barnes and Noble. They were in the clearance section. So I think they're like $7. And um, <clears throat> oh, let me show you this one first. And I know uh, um, Xandra's not here, but uh, Xandra should be getting her pack of, uh, <clears throat> she should get her pack of um, mermaid paper and traveler's notebook today or tomorrow. So hopefully uh, she'll get that today or tomorrow. Anyway, uh, of course, I think of Xandra every time I see uh, mermaids. But I thought this would be, I mean, I just like it. It's a pretty book. But it might be something fun to practice drawing mermaids, you know. And then, of course, you know the, you know who this one is right here. This is uh, um, Jasmine right here. And... Uh, I've actually colored this page in Jasmine's book. Let me see. Uh, in her color book. Let's see. Where's my color book here? My color book notebook. Let me find Jasmine here. My Jasmine. I have a whole section on Jasmine. Here we go. This is my Jasmine section. Here it is. This is this is my version of uh, the mermaid, Jasmine's mermaid from her color book. Um, well, I'll take it out because it's got 
stickles on it. You can't see it. <clears throat> so I really, I really love this. This is one of my favorites out of my Jasmine, out of my Jasmine book. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, Alice, uh, uh, Sean said Jasmine's Alice color book. I guess Alice in Wonderland is out in September. Okay. So I don't have her. Uh, do I have her mermaid book? I think I got it, but I haven't worked in it. I think, or maybe I just have her first one in the Halloween one. I'm not sure if I have her mermaid one. This was not in the mermaid book. This was in just her regular, her regular first book. And yeah, it's very recognizable, Kenny. So anyway, um, this was my version of how I colored it, but um, put it back in the sleeve. Yeah, my uh, this is this is uh, pages that will fit in a, a three you know a binder, three ring binder. So here's hers. Now she this is a painting, um, but she turned her paintings into color uh, color books. Hi May. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, I really just there's all different artists in here. And just all different mermaids of, you know, just different kind of, uh, you know, the uh, manga, anime types look. Um, some more jasmine look here. And um, I haven't read it. I just got it. So, you know, I haven't read it yet. But I just thought it, it just had so many beautiful mermaids in here. Look at this one here. So anyway, I loved it for the art of it. Might recognize some of the artists. Some of them have color books. So yeah, there's what I got. Seven ninety eight. I put the sticker in the back. I took it off the front. So Russ Thorne, I guess, is the uh, editor compiler of it. <clears throat> so yeah, that's at um, Barnes and Noble in their clearance, their clearance section. I'm not sure how much it is normally. Uh, it's normally $15.99 US, but if you want to look it up on Amazon, it's nine seven eight one seven eight seven five five one nine nine two. So if you want to find it, if you can't find it at Barnes and Noble. Okay, so there's that. Then the last uh, one that I got at, um, okay, there's a shadow there. Where's that shadow coming from? Um, the last one that I got at uh, Barnes & Noble was this uh, Natural Remedies one. And um, I don't know. I almost didn't get it, and I did get it. And I, I used to have Culpepper's Herbal, you know, the Culpepper who wrote an herbal uh, herbologist, herbology. <laughs> in like the 1600s and it, it of course it's been reprinted many times you can find that easily on amazon too but i gave my copy to cameron and so i said well you know of course you can always order another culpepper herbal on amazon but this one was kind of had just different natural remedies for different things let's see if it has a list in the front i didn't see one it might have an index in the back but what it does is has natural remedies and the reason I almost didn't get it, I said, well, for instance, I don't know. I don't have acne, but there's all different essential. But let's just say you wanted something to do with uh, with acne. Well, I thought to myself, I don't have any stinging nettle laying around the house. I don't have any red clover or, you know, I mean, you can get it in essential oils. And obviously you can buy this stuff. You can buy these herbs and things, but it's like um, the uh, Sean. There's not an op. It's a compiler. Russ Thorne. Um, he compiled all these different artists' works. Okay. Um, so anyway, I didn't have. Um, I don't have any of this stuff, but I just thought it was, you know, kind of cool. You know, like here's copper bracelets, and um, and now I'll tell you. Um, Hubster, you know, he runs and exercises, you know, at least five days a week. He goes out jogging and walking at least five days a week, every morning at 4.30. Um, <laughs> and one of his knees sometimes bothers him when he, when he goes up and down the steps. So he got one of those copper, 
those copper bands, you know, that go around your knee. I don't know what they're called. Cop, those called copper bands, I guess. But it's like a sleeve. It's like a, it's like a elastic sleeve, right? That you put up, you pull up on your leg around your knee, and it has this copper, has copper in it that circles your knee. And he says it works. He swears that when he puts that thing on, his knee never hurts. So I don't know. Here's like copper bracelets. There's copper back back braces there's different copper wrist bracelet you know wrist things and he swears it works it got dark in here I, what happened here let's brighten this baby back up it got dark maybe it's this just this book and uh janet your dad swore by copper too i know i you know he was very skeptical of it he, you know but he tried it on his knee and he said it works so I don't know. But anyway, I'm just, just because it had copper bracelets right there is the only reason I'm bringing that up. But anyway, just here's like for asthma, different kind of teas, licorice, directions, mustard seed. And I said, well, I don't have any of this. I mean, I might, I might have some garlic around, here, but I'm just saying, you know, um, but it's all like homeopathic. Um, you know, here's one for coughs wild cherry bark and it has the directions right you know you, you gotta research this stuff guys don't just go out and start you know cutting mushrooms out of the woods <laughs> you know uh so anyway flax seed pepper and direction you know has anyway i just thought it was fascinating the book in the information itself uh, whether I ever use it, I don't know. Me never know. But, you know, here's one for fatigue. Here's ginseng. Um, you know, uh, there, there's, we're, you know, we get all of our medicines from, and I mean, now they're, they, they're also made, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're, they're produced by, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? different means, not just plants. But, you know, at one point, every all medicines came from plants. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And so, um, syn yeah, synthesize, that might be what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, man-made, yeah, Pamela, but I think I was looking for, I don't know if synthesize is the exact word, but that's that's the point, yeah. Now, now they're all made, uh, you know, can be reproduced but you know you know you have to know that the originals the original um herbs and plants you know making it from that just seems like it would have to be really better but anyway i don't know different things uh, i guess for toothache muscle strains but i just thought it was really kind of cool i would just like to read i just like to read about the different um herbs and you know my culpepper was you know probably a 40 year old copy uh my culpepper herbal it was just a you know just a re reproduced you know book i think the original culpeppers like i said i think was the 1600s when he wrote it um <clears throat> hi Jeanette. so anyway i thought this was really um just interesting their skin and just all the little different information about the plants right so anyway natural remedies work with nature to protect your body and promote healing I'm not sure who the author it's uh publications international uh, i'm not sure uh, who the uh, i don't see a uh an author just publications international and um Oh, writer, Paul Bergner. Oh, there's a whole bunch. There's about 10 PhDs and and uh, medical. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, authors. Put out 2017. So anyway, again, got this at Barnes & Noble on the clearance tables. Okay, then I got this. The girl, this girl here, her name is Victoria. Um she contacted me on Instagram. She is in Russia and she contacted me and asked me if she could send me this color book, um, her color book and show it on my show. I said, sure. Um, 
Well, you, you know, find just what you could, everything that's in that book, I'm sure you could find online if you just, re, you know, looked it up, Google it and find it. Um, but, you know, I just love books. I just love, the, I love the actual book. And uh, so anyway, her name is, I, I think it's Victoria K-L-E-Y-N. Uh, it's backwards here, but her name's Victoria. So she signed it right here. Happy coloring, Dee Dee, with love, Victoria. She sent me a couple of her postcards. So if you want to find her on Instagram, here is her information right there. So if you want to contact her and find out how to get her color book, um, I don't see any place in here where you can uh, actually go and purchase it. You probably have to contact her. And again, guys, you know, just like uh, Anastasia's books, uh, until they make their way onto Etsy or something, the shipping is horrendous. I understand that. So uh, yeah, don't email me and say, or leave a comment. Oh my God, I can't afford the shipping. I know it's expensive. Don't, you don't have to tell me. I mailed, I do happy mail every month. It's, it's uh, redonkerous. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I just wanted to show and, and I'm going to color a page out of it. So it's my sweet bestiary, bestiary. And what it is, it's all candies and sweets with the animals. And it's really cute. You're going to see it here in a minute. Um, but anyway, she did these two uh, postcards that were in there. Uh, the, I don't think these are in the book, uh, but she did put those in the in here. So I'll leave them in the book here, but I'm going to do a flip. It is one sided. The pages are one sided. It is on cardstock. I would say uh, it's probably at least it's at least 90, if not uh, 100. It's 100. I'd say 110, 110 weight cardstock. It's very thick paper. And uh, oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks, Cheryl. They're talking about Hubster and I did a little video yesterday where we colored in. Um, Hubster and I colored in amazing grays in um, in this one. I've already shown it this morning and I'll just quickly show you again. These are the two pages that we colored. I colored the roses and Hubster colored these flowers. And we just use some Copics. That's all we use is just some Copics. No shading or anything because it's grays, right? It's grayscale. So if you use Copic markers or alcohol markers, it doesn't have to be Copic. I think I used a couple hoo-hoo heroes, you know. Uh, anyway, alcohol markers. And they are one-sided. It will go through. It will go through because, you know, that's what alcohol markers do. <laughs> Team Willingham. Yes, yeah, Sammy. We had fun. It was only, like I said, about 30 minute video, but we had fun uh, coloring them. And, uh, but I really like when it's like a, a photograph like this and you can color it. Um, it's all shading's really done for you. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> Watch that video if you want to see the in depth of that book. Thanks, May. And hi, by the way. Hi, Joycey. Anybody else I miss coming in? Jacqueline, Lou. Uh, let me see who else. I'm sure I'm missing people. Devin. Thanks, everybody. Kimberly. So they're all animals with different kind of candies and sweets, you know, ice cream and whatever. And it is real heavy cardstock. And just so I'm going to do a flip here of her book. So again, contact her on Instagram if you want to find out how to purchase it. Okay. Um, cakes and, you know, I mean, they're just, it's just, it's a sweet book. It's just so sweet, you know, not just the candies and the pies and the cakes, but they're just sweet, you know. <clears throat> An elephant, and he's got his little basket of peppermints and it's like a christmas type you know there's the bit holly berries candy look you could do his tusk and candy cane candy cane colors <laughs> i already picked one out i have it marked here so when we get to it uh i am going to pull it out of the book some uh little uh uh turtles and the back so that has like candy tur you know like chocolate turtles <laughs> oh Here's a little kind of a koala type elf thing. He's like half koala, half elf. And again, you know, these look like, um, you know, those brown chocolate straw things. I forget there's a name for them. 
<laughs> and uh, here's a griffin, kind of half griffin, half peacock. And uh, little, little cupcakes. So anyway, uh, look, there's a macaroon. And they're just all different, you know, kind of combo animals. And then all different kind of sweets with them. <clears throat> this one's got some watermelon. Looks like a wolf. Here's a, a horse that's made with a unicorn to look like, uh, you know, the ice cream cone. <laughs> oh. And then this is the one I want to do. I want to do this narwhal with the ice. And um, it's got kiwi, strawberry, and I'm thinking that's uh, lemons. It could be limes. And then the shells around it in this little thing of water. And I wanted to pick this because... Now, again, these are not in the book, but look how she did this ice crystal, how she did that ice crystal there. So I was thinking I was going to try to maybe do something like her ice crystal on this ice. So I might use this as kind of a you know blue reference. And then, you know, because we could have blue, kiwis are kind of like green, red strawberries, lemons, maybe some pink shells, and maybe a turquoise narwhal. Just have this really bright and and sweet. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, do the narwhal. This is what I'm going to do. So let me go ahead and so I can tear it out gently here. Uh, so I'm going to do that one. Let's continue on showing the rest of them. Here's some wa waffles and syrup. Another macaroon type thing there. Uh, frosted donut on the, oh, don't, is Eileen here? Look away, Eileen. <laughs> all on the rocks, yeah. And a little lamb and all, just all kinds. It can be candies and you, I mean, you can make it whatever you want, obviously. Pile of ice cream, sundae with a cherry. Um, So anyway, I thought it was really, really cute. So again, here is the cover. And here is her information. If you want to contact her. So yeah, we're going to color the narwhal. And I thought what I would do is do it with my gouache so I pulled out my gouache here from you know that we've been using lately and my little tray got a baby wipe here and some brushes so I thought we would uh, base coat it base coat it with uh, gouache and then maybe go in with pencil hi Darla who else I'm missing um, Melody J mm, thanks everybody for being here Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spray down all my gouache here and get them activated with a spray bottle. Of course, I'm not going to do it right here. I'm going to come over here. And have them ready to go. I'm going to put them in my tray here, and then I will use... I'm not going to use a water brush. I'm going to use real, uh, regular brushes. Let me get my water here. I'm going to pull my water bucket up here. And I always keep it sitting on a paper towel. Let's see how I'm going to do this here. I might tilt this down just a little. There we go. Try to get everything in camera here. I was hoping to get a little bit of her book in there. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can work right about, right about there. <laughs> it will work real tight. I want to zoom in so you can see. There is a little bit of a shadow there from my water bucket, but I think we're good. What brand gouache is this? It is the Arteza, and I have shown it. I did do an unboxing of the Artezas, and um, this right here is, I made this from just the little pans that you can get, uh, and then I attached them down with double-sided foam tape and they're just stuck down right th like that okay um and then i just squeezed out out of the tubes 
into uh, these pans just a little bit, you know. A couple of them started crapping. You go, oh, they're going to crack and they're going to fall out. Well, they're cra some of them are cracking a little bit. I reactivate them. I'm not taking this. I'm not putting it in a backpack and going anywhere where they're all going to tump out anyway, right? They just sit right here. <laughs> I'm liking it so far, but the only other gouache I've ever used to compare it to is the kids, you know, the inexpensive kids sets that are real chalky and dusty like when they dry. This is not like that. Now, I'm not saying that these are, you know, these are not the best like M. Graham or, well, I don't know, some of the other, you know, very expensive gouache, but they're certainly fine for what I do with them. And they're not chalky and dusty. I, I don't like that chalky, dusty uh, look, right? So, okay. So I think what we're going to do, and I just have some of my mermaid markers. I mean, my mermaid... Um, of uh, brushes. These come in a set. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. Uh, Xandra had sent me a couple some time ago, and then I found the whole set at Hobby Lobby. They're on an end cap. They're not with all the other brushes, at least at my Hobby Lobby. They're um they're down by the craft paints in a in a pack of I think seven or ten uh, in a pack. And there's also unicorn ones. I don't have any of those, but the unicorn ones have a pink horn looking handle <laughs> yeah exactly exactly sean all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay down a base coat of what i want uh like i said i'm probably going to do some kind of a blue ice cube the narwhal i want in teals and then um the fruit i want to do like the colors of fruit um so uh, let me save this picture that Jean tweeted. I want to save that because I'll never find it again. Jean. Um, let me find the. Uh, I took a I took a picture of a kiwi because I wasn't sure on the colors of the kiwi. Let's see here. It's kind of a green and brown edge. So it's not really lime green, but um, yeah, kind of. Might be a good base. All right, so let me get, uh, I'll get a medium brush here. <laughs> the one that's not the mermaid one, but anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'll just start with the kiwi. And I'm going to, uh, it's probably going to be, I mm, was hoping to put the paints and everything in here together. It's a little tricky, a little tricky. Oh, and also I don't want to forget, this is week five of our uh, Sparks of Creativity box. So I want to make sure and uh, do that sometime today too. Okay, so let's see here. I've used a lot of this lime green on other things, but um like that pear and stuff. And there's, I didn't squeeze that much in here. And I can always just go back in and squeeze more in, right? So again, this paper is, it is very um, heavy cardstock. Um, of course, even if you use alcohol markers, it'd probably go through. Because they go through just about everything. I mean, so what if you leave your page... If you leave your page in the book to work on and you decide on alcohol markers, still put something behind it because you don't want to take a chance of ruining the next page, right? <clears throat> all right. So, um, yeah, thanks, everybody, for the thumbs up and everybody that's here and all the likes. I appreciate that. And um, did anybody else do anything fun for Mother's Day? Of course, I didn't go do anything. Um the, you know, Denise came down last week and brought me my, brought me my Mother's Day present, brought me a, she got me an Apple Watch. Annie sent me Amazon money. <laughs> she, it's so nice. She just like, um, it's nice when you can just message and she put in there, Happy Mother's Day, and then signed it and put a nice little thing on a, on a message, you know, just a, you know, phone message. And it says click here for your because I have the app. I have the app. I have the Amazon app on my phone. So all I have to do was just click the click the message and that money was applied right to my Amazon app. 
So, yeah. And also, guys, I've said this before, um, you, you don't have to have a credit card to use, you know, um, like Amazon. Just go to the store, buy an Amazon card, an Amazon gift card, buy an Amazon gift card, put the Amazon app on your phone, and then go and just download, just put tight some you can either phone I, I can use a, you know you can use a, your phone to take a picture or you can just type in type in the um number and then apply it to your amazon then you'll always have amazon money just you know buy it as you can afford it uh lunch at my mom's house Devin says help set up her new home for oh all oh, fun Devin. Can you zoom in one more? Well, I could, Cheryl, but then you won't be able to see the paints I'm using. Um, I think people like to see the colors that I'm picking and mixing. If I zoom in, well, I guess if I move this, I guess I can move the book. Um, I can move the book. I was kind of hoping to show the book. But how's that? Does that make everybody happy? <laughs> uh, Okay, <clears throat> so, and then I uh, want a little bit of, um, let me put a little bit of water in here, just to have some water. And I cl just clean my brush off here. Okay, um, so a little bit of green. Um, again, I'm not going to do a whole lot of shading with the gouache, because I, you know me, I'm going to go in here with pencil. That's better? Okay. And then I want to do a little bit of the rim with kind of um, a sandy color, maybe this color here. I'm going to take my bracelets off because they're clinking They're clinking on my um, uh, baker, I mean my um, butcher tray here. So I, I, every time I move my arm, wrist, it's touching that, so I'll take that off. Okay, so let's see. I want that brown here. So if you have any questions or anything, just put them in caps. <clears throat> Again, I'm using this more as a base. And you can always go back in with pencils. To do shading. I'll try to hold my brush far enough back so that my hand's not in the way. Janet, um, what are you and I, I haven't seen Eileen today. What are, what are you going to do on your stream today? And Jean, you too. Are you, are you up for streaming today, Jean, at four? So Janet streams at 1 right after, well, I sometimes end at 12, but she uh, she comes on at 1 Eastern. Um, and Jean is the musical scrapper. She comes on at 4 Eastern. You're going to stream. No idea what I'm going to do, though. Got to get a watercolor going, Jean. A watercolor. Janet, and Janet is Janet M. Young. I don't have a plan yet. Probably drawing out of my new book. Oh, ooh, drawing out of your new book. Okay. So, yeah. A little bit of kiwi there. And uh, just a tiny bit of uh, darker on the inside, right on the inside rim here. And then the inside's kind of uh, just white. All right, let's see what I want to do next. Let's see. And, you know, I'll darken up all these seeds with a black marker. Um, let's do a strawberry over here. And we'll start with kind of a, almost like a, an, I don't say off-white, but it's like a whitest pink. And I'm just going to kind of base that in the center here just to get the center of that strawberry. The inside of the strawberry is very pale cream color. Hi, Anne. I was up late. Oh, I missed it. Let's see if I can scroll real quick. Anne said, 
I was up late last night playing in my whatchamacallit sticker collage art journal book. <laughs> I have to go watch. Did you do a video, Ann? Pacola goes, are you going to watch Kathy Berg's show tomorrow? Oh, yes, I am. Of course I will. Um, I'm not sure what time. Do you know what time it is, Pacola? Yeah, um, some of the girls are doing, let me stop the chat for I can read that. Some of the girls are doing a journaling by five, a Shannon Green thing. They're doing a hangout. And let's see, Kathy Berg, Colleen, Janet, Lena, Beth, Vicki, and maybe Joyce, noon Eastern. Oh, sorry, I just saw the noon Eastern. Yeah, okay, noon Eastern. Yeah, scrolled off. Yeah. Um, uh, somebody, make sure somebody tweets that too, because, or well, whoever's in it. Make sure y'all um, tweet that. Hi, Barbara. Hi, great. So, um, yeah, that'll be fun, especially after seeing Lena prepare. <laughs> Lena prepare for, oh, my gosh, it's, it's going to be hilarious. It is going to be hilarious. I know, Janet, right? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Then I want a nice, um, let's go to this nice bright red here. Let's go to, kind of, yeah, that's good. Let me water that down. I don't need it that um, thick. And, you know, the nice thing about these, you can use them, um, you can use these uh, gouache uh, op more opaque or water them down very thin, just like watercolor. And I want that slider in the center. So anyway, I thought it'd be fun to just try to do this with the gouache and um, and maybe some pencil or pen, you know, fine liner if you need to. Okay. A little darker on the edge here. Um, thank you so much for encouraging us to watch Lena and Friends. Oh, I know, isn't she? Isn't she, um, Christine? I know she's 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 uh, she's a good artist and a hoot, hoot to boot. <laughs> All right, so there's that base for that. Let's put a little bit of um, let's kind of let's uh, mute this down. I want a muted green here, not too. I want I want it uh, a little brighter, but not quite that part. There we go. I just want a little bit of a green here for these little stems. Too much water on the brush. There. A little water. Strawberry stems. All right, let's see. Oh, I forgot a strawberry. Let's go back over here to this one. There we go. <clears throat> okay, green. Too much water. A little touch. So, anybody have any uh, any trips planned for the spring or summer or anything like that? All right. Let's see. Let's go to some lemons. I'll get nice bright yellow for this. A little shade with pencil. Oh, I'm thinking this is a lemon peel right there, or the back end of the lemon one.
So if you're just wanting to play with some watercolor or gouache or even watered down acrylic, you know, a nice thick paper like this is nice so it doesn't buckle or pill. <clears throat> All right, let's see. All right, oh, I'm not sure what I want to do. These little drops, they could be some kind of maybe from the ice. All right, so the ice, I do want it to be. I gotta decide here on the blues because I want I want the narwhal. Let me look here. Uh, I'm thinking I might want this pearl color for the ice. Uh, I'm not sure how pearly it's going to show. Uh on you know because i haven't really used any of these pearl colors yet let me make sure you can get, see everything here so i'm going to use this pearl blue for the ice and the background i think all right so i'm going to just go ahead and start with a base just flat blue pearl and what i'll do is uh for the white for highlights i'll use a posca okay so I'll use a Posca for white highlights. Let's get the right one there. And I might also put uh, some touches of stickles. You might put some touches of stickles on this. Everybody loves stickles. <laughs> And I don't really want this. I want it kind of choppy because I want it to look kind of like, you know, frozen, melting ice. So I don't want it too flat. I want it kind of watery looking. Remember, guys, if you're talking to me, put it in caps so I can see. That you're talking to me. Thanks again, guys, for all the thumbs up and everybody being here. Appreciate it. Okay, and then of course, anytime you want to do another layer, you got to let one dry. Otherwise, you're just picking up paint. So I'll either hit it with a heat gun or just wait a minute before I put another layer in there. Okay, so I'm going to really water down. I want it really light the background that's too dark i want it even lighter i just want the very like watered down very light blue water that he's in here no one loves the stickle as much as the <laughs> <laughs> I did buy a couple of colors um, that were on clearance at the, at the craft store. Um, I, I think Hobby Lobby quit selling stickles. And I don't know if Michael's is phasing them out. I don't know if, I mean, are stickles going away? I don't know. I mean, you still get them on Amazon, of course, but I just pick some up. I pick some up because they're on clearance. <clears throat> Does anybody know or have, do you still see a lot of stickles in your stores? Not in our world. <laughs> Not sure what, uh, what part, Julie. Okay, don't want quite that heavy. Very, very light blue. Because I'm going to do these drops dark. I'm just having fun with it, guys. I'm really just having fun with the gouache. And, um, oh, they're not going away in our world. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, well, my my um, Hobby Lobby, I asked the girl that sets things out, and she said, no, there's no more stickles in Hobby Lobby. 
I mean, I guess that, you know, I mean, there's still a uh, Timmy section, Ranger section, you know, Tim Holtz Ranger section, but there, there's, there's no more stickles. And I don't know if that's all, I can't say if that's all Hobby Lobbies or just mine, you know, so I don't know. I mean, is Ranger still going to be making stickles? Because, I mean, if Ranger doesn't make them, they can't sell them. <laughs> uh, hi, Cassie. Is anybody else popping in? We're just working with a little Arteza gouache. And um, working in this color book here. Victoria. And here's her information. <clears throat> Dina, you just take down your video of all your there's come page. Did you did I take down? I haven't taken down any pages, Barbara. They're all there. I don't know what what one are you looking for? No, I don't take my I didn't take any videos down. Hi Donna. Thanks for stopping in. Joanne still has stickles, Donna said. Okay. Yeah, my see, my Joanne's is like 45 minutes away. And you know, I got Hobby Lobby like three miles, and and Michael's is five miles. So I don't get over to Joanne's very much. Well, I haven't in years because it's just too far. Um yeah, I have some distressed stickles, but I don't know. I'm just not, they're okay. Um, Okay, so everybody's saying Joann's. Welcome back, Anne. It's there, Barbara. I, I don't I can't tell you the exact title of the video, but yeah, it's there. Just look in my color book playlist. I have a, a playlist. That was a couple months ago, I think, when I did all the pages from my, my book. I mean, from all my books. Yeah, it's still there. I can't, like I said, I don't remember the title of the, the video. Um, eBay has changed the way they do things. Do, okay. I don't, I don't really go to eBay, so I don't know. I don't know how they used to do things or how they do things now. I shop at Etsy occasionally. And I'm keeping it kind of, you know, watery looking. More water here. Let it very thin down. I want it to be very, um, you know, like it's, you know, movement to it. Very, very light. Because he's going to be like teal color. I could do him, I could do him pink. Um, but all the shells, I'm thinking all the shells are going to be bright pink. So if the shells are all pink, then he probably needs to be teal. He or she, I don't know. <laughs> it, <laughs> the, the narwhal. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'll add a little bit more. In some areas, but it, make sure it's dry because otherwise it'll just be lifting. And I want these um, I want these drops to be dark, like the color of the ice. Same thing. And I'll do some more shading in there. I might do a little bit more with the paint and then the rest with pencil. And you can do the whole thing with paint if you want. I just, you know me, I love my pencils. But I did have fun doing, and I want to do more of the little, um, uh-oh, set my hand in there. Some more of the little, um, botanicals.
Um, Mar Martin, Martin. Well, if you're bored, you can leave. <laughs> uh, Ian, you can get stickle bricks and kid toys. Yeah, is it? But is it the stickle brand? You have to be. Some of those brands are not. Um, they're thick. They're real. They're real goopy. They're real goopy. So you want to make sure um, you get this. Now, Michael's has an off brand, or they did. I, I don't remember what it's called. If it's just like, I don't even know if there's a thing, you know, uh, Michael's brand name on it. But they're pretty good. But stickles are just real flowy. They're just real flowy, you know. Yeah, that's why we have, uh, that's why we have mods, uh, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Get rid of that a little bit right there. Um. And I did kind of splatter. I think I'll just, uh, I can always just uh, splatter if I need to. Um, okay, so now I think I want kind of the same sandy color that I used in the kiwi. Oh, this one here. <laughs> on the bottom of the, on the bottom here. Like there's some sand sitting on the bottom of this, uh, little mini aquarium thing. Like this. Just a slight. Again, guys, this is just the base. We're going to do go in here with shading. Got to start with the got to start with the base. It's all about the base. Just a little bit there. Um, now let me go ahead and put the pink shells in first, then I can decide whether I want, or maybe I'll do the narwhal pink and teal. I could do his body pink. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go in here. I'm going to look at this. Uh, let's go in here for the shells on this pearl. And again, I don't know if you can really tell that that's pearlized blue. Uh, I don't know that I can really tell, but I'm going to just go ahead and base coat all the shells this pearlescent pink. And I'm going to go ahead and do this horn too. Anyway, what I was going to say is I really had fun doing all those uh, little botanicals. And I did take pictures of them. I'm going to print some of them out. But the, all the originals I sent out already. So if you get one, let me know. These are going to be little pearls, I think. Those little round, kind of rocky looking ones. Get all these little shells as pearl color, pearl pink. Very, it's kind of it's a little on the light side, but gouache botanicals were awesome. Thank you, Debbie. I want to do some more. I want to do more of the um, more of those for giveaways. Okay, so now I have to decide. Do I want him, do I want all the, like the fluffy bits of him to be, I say him, I'm just being generic here. Um, you can see coloring book full of pictures with scenes inside a glass. Mm. I'm not sure you mean if you just had a whole book of them, and I'm not sure. I want to get over there, Anne, and see your uh, collaging whatnot book, <laughs> as you're calling it. Maybe we'll have a little of both. We'll have a little bit of the teal and the pink, like blending in together.
I do have a narwhal picture I colored too. Um, whose was it? I don't think it was Jasmine's. Whose picture was that narwhal? Was it, um, I'll have to get my notebook out here. Oops. I did a narwhal and a mermaid thing. It was a, a, a mermaid narwhal thingy. <laughs> but I forget who did it. I mean, who drew it. It's very pale right now. Oh, you're going to come to Atlanta? And for what? I mean, are you visiting somebody or are you coming here for something? What are you coming here for, Anne? Are we going to be able to meet up somewhere? Half my family's in Savannah right now. Well, they may be back now, but they went, um, a bunch of my uh, sister-in-laws and nieces, they went to Savannah for the week, Mother's Day weekend. Was it Camilla, um, Sammy? Okay, let me see real quick. Let me get this. I'm going to go back into my notebook here. Hang on. Let me see. Flipping, flipping. Hang on, there's a lot in here. Let me look for my Camilla. Oh, did I? I don't think I wouldn't have taken out because a Camilla book is square i don't think it would fit in here so it may not be it may just be in the book it may be in the camilla book because it's too big yeah let me see um let me let me look in my pop manga camilla i think this is what this i think we've colored quite a few in this book Ah, here she is. Yeah, so there's my mermaid on a narwhal. It's a little flashed out because I have it on light. But, um, yeah. And the background's all painted with a black acrylic paint. But, yeah, there's and this is all paint down here, too. Yeah, so that one, that was fun. I need to get back in this book. And Sammy colored in mouse guard. She makes me want to get back out my mouse guard. There's this girl in here. Wants to flash out. There's this girl. What else do I have in here? And then I have the other one too. The other Camilla. But... Mm -hmm. Sammy colored in her mouse guard. Um, mouse guard. Hang on, let's see. What do I have colored in here? Got this one colored. These two are colored. So Sammy did an awesome uh, frog. It was a frog. Uh, I'm not. I don't know if I can find the exact picture she did in here, but she. Um, got this one's done. See, I got them tabbed. I got a post-it note in here. And. Uh, Owl. Yeah, Sammy did an awesome frog. So y'all make sure and go check out her. Um, this one's done. And this one I did a little bit of stickles in the sword. Uh, again, guys, it's flashing out just a little because I have the contrast or the lighting set really bright so that you can see this well. But uh, yeah. Yeah, Sammy did an awesome, an awesome frog her channel okay so let's go back here let's see i'm gonna go back into my um pearl pink here and i want to do kind of so like they kind of i don't want to get it muddy but they're kind of blending together and then we'll go in here with pencil. And shade. Mm -hmm. 
No, thank you, Sammy. It was fun. I mean, I wasn't that didn't see it live, but I saw the recording. And I do when I'm skimming through, you know, if I'm watching someone live, you know, I'm working when I'm watching someone live. If I watch a recording, one of the nice things about watching a recording, mine or anybody else's, is um, like when someone's got their heat gun going or they take a break, you can just scrub through, you know, just fast forward with the little slider bar. So, you know, you got three hour video, you can probably watch it in an hour. You know, if you want to catch the whole thing and you don't have three hours, just watch it, you know, scrub through and watch as much as you can. Catch the highlights, you know. All right, there we go. So there's just a nice light base, right, of everything right there. Oh, thank you, Pacola. All right, now, and the paper just kind of, it just rolls just a little. It's not, you know, it's just like any kind of cardstock you get wet. You know, just kind of roll it out. It's not wrinkled or anything, you know. All right, so now I think we're going to dry this, and then I want to get in here with some pencils. So, again, these are just in little pans of gouache, squeezed out, the Arteza ones. And I do have a, uh, let me show you the, uh, I'll show you the uh, colors here. I have them all. Let me go ahead and, well, no, I don't want to back out because I'm going to shade. I'm also going to try to show you all the colors here. There's 60 of them. These are the colors, and I did write down the names and the numbers of them all. And there are quite a few pearlescent ones. I don't know that I can really, uh, like this pearl green one, I can see a little bit of pearl to it. But it's subtle. It's very subtle. So anyway, there's 60 colors, and they come in little tubes. All right, so I'm going to move my water. Let's get all this out of the way. Make some space here. And again, we are coloring in this book here by Victoria Klein, I think. How you say it? Here's her information. If you want to contact her on Instagram. And again, guys, it's going to be, I'm sure the shipping is going to be redunkerous. Um, uh, no, Susan, I did not. <laughs> I did. I have not. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hit this with the heat gun real quick. Just Let's just make sure it's nice and dry. All right, so now let's get the pencils. I do have a lot of my pencils are out here because I'm using them on my poster, which I'm making a lot of progress on my poster. Um, I might show that again when I... And I'm just going to use Prisma. Uh, I'm, I'll probably show the... Um, uh, poster again at the end here if somebody will remind me I'll try to remember but uh, show the poster that I'm working on the big giant 24 by 34 um, Nick Filbert poster the love poster I am working on that okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out my prismas here and then of course I have all these these are the ones I'm using in my poster but I might need some of these colors so I'm gonna leave that there um, and leave my pencils right here, but I'm so zoomed in so everybody can see this. So, yeah, how's that look, guys? All right, so now I think what I want to do is let's we'll start with the ice, okay? Let's start with the ice. <clears throat> Try to kind of watch chat every now and then. All right, so I'm going to go with this light, kind of light blue, which I don't have that pulled out. Let's go with um, probably non-photo blue, and then I want one shade darker, 
probably go with um, peacock blue. I'm going to do these probably for the water. And, of course, I'll want my, my white Posca, maybe some white pencil, too. So let's go with these colors for the ice. All right, where's my little pencil sharpener bowl here? Got my little pencil sharpeners in a little bowl thing here. I'm going to go ahead and sharpen these a little bit. And, Christine, I do have one of your books in my Amazon cart. Uh, I want to get one of your books and promote it. Let's see here. Um, I'll show you the one I have. Oops, not Instagram. Not Instagram. Amazon. Hi, Eileen. Finally decided to get out of bed. No, just kidding. <laughs> <I'm not here. laughs> Let me go to my cart here. Uh, <laughs> uh, which one is it here? Where is it? Where is it? Did I what did I do with it? Uh, here it is. This one. Is Devin misbehaving? Uh, don't do that makes me happy. Oh, you're welcome. This one here. Flowers. Is this I'm thinking this is yours, right? This is yours? Flowers and flyers. The butterflies, this one's yours. It says CL. <laughs> I'm guessing that's yours, Christine. <laughs> Is that it? Is you, right? <laughs> I'm waiting for her to answer. Let's see. Is that one yours? Waiting seventy, yeah. Um, I know you do a lot of mandalas, mandala books, and I don't really enjoy cutting. Not that there's anything wrong with them. Lots of hundreds, thousands of people love the mandala books. My mom does. Uh, I just don't. I don't like the repetitiveness of mandalas. But that flowers and flower flyers, I I liked. So I'm gonna get that one. Oh, my watch is telling me it's time to breathe. It's gonna have. I'm it's gonna have to wait. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to, you're misbehaving, oh, you're just instigating, okay, all right, Dan, we be, be careful now, you know my mods, they're like snapping turtles, <laughs> now they know you, <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I want to um, do some of this ice in the, in the same blue colors like uh, Victoria did hers, I'm trying to set this up here. And um, might need a little purple shadows, too. Maybe I might need a little bit of dark purple, Dahlia purple, or maybe even a darker purple. Let me go back into my purples here. I might need a, I actually might just need violet. Okay, so we're going to go with these colors. <laughs> oh, thank you, Terry, for putting Christine's books there. So, um, yeah, Christine is a, is a streamer, too, and there's her books. Uh, breathe. Does it tell you to blink and swallow too? Sometimes, Janet. I usually ignore that. No, it doesn't. It does tell you if you sat too long. Like if I sit here and I'm coloring for an hour, or I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what the when they do it, how often it does it, Janet. Because I'm usually not sitting that long at one span of time. But it's usually if I'm working on something. Um, you know, I'm just sitting here. It'll come on and say it's time to stand, and that's usually when I go to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to go, I'm going to start with the uh, peacock blue and start getting in some shading here. So again, guys, uh, I start, I just, and you can do all your shading with layers of gouache and watercolor. I just like a little bit of a, a lot of things. <laughs> I just do, you know. Oh, thank you, um, Devin, message retracted and the super chat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say something smart, Alecky? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all want me, is that zoomed in pretty good? I think so. <laughs> Nothing like a retracted comment on your super chat, Devin. Nothing like that. <laughs> oh 
my goodness, thank you so much. Thanks, uh, thanks, guys. If you want to, and I do have a PayPal tip jar. Uh, Pacola usually puts in the link there. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and yes, if you send me your address, I'll add you to my uh, send out um, a thank you. Thank you, Pacola. Uh, I sent out a bunch of um, happy mail on Saturday. A big stack. A lot of Canadians this time. I'll have a lot of Canadians. I think I four Canadians that I sent stuff out to. No, Gene, you weren't one. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, it was Nicole. Uh, <laughs> oh, it was Nicole. Oh, okay. Why did I say it's Devin? Devin. Oh, so it's Devin, Rex, Nicole. <laughs> Oh yeah, and if you send me if you send me your address, guys, tell me who what your uh, your avatar's nickname is. I've had people, you know, and I and I have to write back. Well, you know, who is this? Or they'll just put their um, nickname like Devin or something like that. That's not your real name. Then I, I have no idea when you give me your real name. Then I get the real name. I go, who is this person? I have no clue who this person is. So you have to tell me, and I do not share your your any of your information with anybody. I don't put you on an email list. I don't share your information with anybody. If anybody asks for, oh, can I have like Jean? Can I have Jean's address? I'm sorry, you'll have to get with Jean. I'm sure she'll give it to you if she knows you, maybe. <laughs> but I don't give your y'all's addresses out to anybody. Just saying. <laughs> You guys. No, I'm not Nicole. Okay. <laughs> and if you have not got, if, if uh, you have either forgotten or if you haven't, or if you have and you haven't got a uh, 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 thank you for supporting my art channel email, I mean, um, art card or something from me, let me know because, I mean, things do happen. Things do get lost, you know, and I have no way of knowing if you don't tell me. So uh, I do try to make sure I send something out. You know, every I do a monthly thing. I, I do a monthly um, thank you thing. And uh, Uh, I don't know. It could have been. Who knows? You know, who knows? Hi, Susie's coloring card. Thank you. Oh, Susie says, thank you for keeping me and Emma company. You're welcome, Susie. Susie's coloring cottage. I think I follow you on uh, YouTube. Susie's coloring cottage. Make sure it send me your address, Susie, and I will um, send you some uh, little art card or an art print or some. I am. I have been sending out some original art. And that's why I like doing like those little botanicals that we did last week. Because uh, then I can demo them and then I can also give them away. So I do a little of both of those. <clears throat> yeah, I saw Ian did a Harrison Ford pencil drawing. You guys can talk about your channels and your art and stuff. I, only mods can put in direct links. But if, you know, put your Facebook name in there if you want to talk about your art or anything like that. You know, I'm, most of you, I mean, every now and then we, we get a trolling spammer, but ve not very often. You know, most people are here. They're enjoying the show. They're enjoying the company. We all go to each other's streams. And we all support each other. And uh, so I don't mind. You can share in my channel. So I'm just doing a little bit of. I'm I'm using her uh, ice as a reference. Victoria did that post for us. She's see, here's her postcard. So I'm using the way she did her ice crystals, kind of as an inspiration. <clears throat> with those colors.
And I'm just taking my time and chatting with you guys. Don't forget, Janet comes on at 1. And Jean comes on at 4. Well, I'm sure there's some color book girls that come on on, on Mondays. Um, April has a... Um, it's pretty much a color tubers. I think there's other some other artists and she has me on her list too. There's a few other artists in her in her list. Um, if somebody has that handy, feel free to put April's uh, list in there. Uh, if not, well, you, you, the color girls, the color tubing girls and guys know who April is. And uh, she has a kind of a, a list of when, color tuber stream you know here we do a little everything we don't just do coloring we do other things too uh, i don't really consider myself a color tuber um because i do other things but anytime you find lists let me just you know kind of shout this out for april's sake or anybody else that has a uh, streamer list um the, the people that put out streamer lists they're not necessarily all inclusive and they're not necessarily always a hundred percent accurate. People change their times a lot. Uh, they change their day. They stream, you know, like I stream every Monday and Wednesday. Um, but people change their stream times. So don't be, you know, dissing on April or anybody else that has a list. Uh, oh, hi, Cynthia. Thank you. Uh, anybody else that tries to be nice and puts out a list to help people and then get mad at them by, by saying, well, so-and-so change it. You know, don't do not do that, guys. No, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so there's a little bit of um, icy bits there. And I also want to let me sharpen this again. I want to do these... Um, droplets here and I will be adding white highlights too with Posca there's a couple little tiny Okay, I'm um, not sure if that's supposed to be a droplet or seeds, hmm. pearls maybe. Maybe I should do those with pink pearls. I kind of think in that. Um. Oh, thank you, color creatively. Yes, yes, y'all are welcome to share your channels. You know, find every, you'll find lots of people, and you'll you know we all can't be at everybody's shows. You know, and we all, I know that most of us, well, everybody I know, everybody I know, tries not to stream when other people are streaming. But at the same time, it happens. It does happen. You might be streaming like, you know, Hubster and I did not do a live show yesterday because I knew there were at least three other people streaming. So we just did a recording. But at the same time, if I ever wanted to do a live show with Hubster and, you know, say a book show or whatever, and somebody else happened to be streaming, I I would hope that nobody get ticked off at me because I went over, you know what I'm saying? Just like I wouldn't anybody else. So, you know, we all try to be courteous, but there are so many streamers. It's going to happen, guys. It's going to happen. Yeah. And I know everybody can go live anytime they want. My thing is, guys, if you happen to go over somebody else, just go watch the person you want to watch at that time. Watch. I mean, even if you didn't make it to my live, you, I, I'm recording. You could come back and watch the recording. You know, let's let's keep it. Let's keep it nice. <laughs> Hi, faithfulness. Let's, you know, let's not be on everybody's case about that kind of thing. You know, we all, you know, at least I try to share everybody's channel as much as I can and promote other people's channels and give shout outs and show pictures of their projects and links and all that. And I don't expect everybody to do that, but don't, you know, y'all know, I don't even have to say y'all know. Okay. 
Well, so now I'm just going to shade a little bit around some of the fruit in, in the water part, but I want to keep this pretty light and I'll probably do some extra water droplets or something in here. I just want to do a little bit of shading around some of the fruit because there would probably be a little bit of a shadow against the opposite side of the glass that the narwhal is swimming in. Because, you know, narwhals swim in these glasses. <laughs> Just a little bit, and I'll blend it out with the uh, process blue. I hope it's not too flashed out, guys, but I like to keep it a little on the lighter side because when you go back or when I go back on my um, recordings and look at them, if it's not this bright while I'm while I'm while I'm looking at it, then I'll go look at it later. And it's really dark. So I found that if I err on the side of a little bit too bright, that it shows up on the video. So I hope it's not too bright for you live people that are here live. But I just noticed that uh, you, if you keep it a little bit on the light side, it has a better quality of a recording. I don't know if any of you with streamers notice that or not. <clears throat> and if you want to follow anybody that's here, if they talk about their channel, just go to their name there. And there's three dots at the end of their name. You can click on it. And it'll take you to their channel. And then you can go over there and subscribe. And it should just open a new window and not um, take you away from here to go subscribe to somebody. And I said this earlier. Let me go ahead and repeat this uh, for other streamers, to t especially new streamers, um, because I noticed it on somebody's channel this weekend some uh, on a recording, it was, but it was had the chat there. Somebody said, I... So I'm not seeing so-and-so and I are talking to each other and we're not seeing each other talking. Well, what you might be doing is you might be um, running top chat, top chat at the top of the chat. If you look up there, if you see top chat or live chat, you're going to see one or the other at the top of your chat. You need to click live chat. Because if you just click top chat, you're not going to see all the chat. Somebody could be talking to you and you may not see it because you're in top chat. So a lot of people don't know that. You know, a lot of people are new to, to watching streams and they may not know that you aren't seeing all the chat. You have to, it defaults to top chat. So you have to click live chat. Otherwise, it defaults to top chat. The other thing to know is if, you, if you're if you watching, it seems blurry. It doesn't seem high quality. Um, like I stream in 1080p. Sometimes, if, especially if, if there's a lag or something and you refresh the video, it will default. YouTube will default it sometimes back to 144p, which is really, really crap. So you need to go down to that little gear under the video. You'll see a little gear. And go to quality, and like for my channel, click 1080p. If you have a weaker internet and that's that's making it too slow for you, then go to at least 720p. But if you are watching someone's stream or watching someone's video and it looks fuzzy, make sure you're watching it in the highest quality that your internet can take. So just FYI. Because um, a lot of people don't know that on those two things. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of... And I think I'm going to do shadows along the edges here because there probably would be a little bit of... the glass curved and I'll blend it out with the, these other colors just right now getting a base on here <clears throat> hey Gary um 
I, Mr. Q commented on one of my videos. I think it was last week, Pacola. And I did tell her um, that I missed, I mean, she didn't answer back. I said, we missed you. I hope everything's okay. But she had left a comment on one of my videos last week. So I know she's around. Um, but, and she may be lurking. I don't know, you know. But uh, Mr. Q, if you're watching this, hope you're doing well. The water's coming out of the glass. Oh, thank you. That's the ice. Now, that's just the second co coat. I mean, I'm going to, I got uh, a purple and a white. We're going to keep go. But I'm just going ahead and putting, um, barely touching this, guys. Barely touching where I want it very light. I'll do light layers, you, you know. And, and again, we could have done more layers with the gouache, but I wanted to get to the pencil. You know, we only we only stream, you know, the try to keep it under three hours. And so we only got limited time. I didn't want to make this a two parter. You're welcome, May. And hi, by the way. Oh, I saw that you streamed too, May. I got to go back. I got to catch up on what was it you were doing, May? Now I'm. Uh, I remember going over there and saying, oh, May did a so-and-so and so. Now I can't remember what you did, May over the weekend, but uh, I saw that you had some, a, a video up. Gee, my partner just came home, so going to have lunch with him. Thank you so much for streaming. We'll watch your recording. You're welcome, Sammy. Thank you. And good, do, good job on your, um, good job on your uh, mouse guard frog this last week and y'all make sure and follow color and chat with Sammy and that's color with a U she's in the UK. Um, maybe that's what it was. The ink tints in the men wet dead bon hoor. and don't email me. Jean, Jean will just correct me right here. That's not how you say it. <laughs> oh, thanks Becky. Yeah. Thanks guys for the thumbs up. <laughs> And Becky's color escape, she's pretty new, as is, um, uh, oh, what's her name now? I just escaped. She just went to the store. She went to the store a little earlier in the show. She's going to Michael's. Um, oh, what's her name? Oh, my gosh. Anyway, they're both kind of new, and I was trying to shout them out. Now I can't think of them. Jersey, Jersey Crafter. Jersey Crafter. Y'all uh, go check them out, too. Becky and Jersey Crafter. That's two different shows, but, you know. Becky's doing some kind of a buddy coloring. Uh, she's doing, a, Becky's doing a buddy coloring. Now, you can't participate in it now because they're already buddied up. But she did a, like a Wheel of Fortune thing where she buddied people up. Uh, one One-to-one -one person doing a buddy coloring. And I guess they're coloring the same thing, right, Becky? They're coloring the same, the two buddies color the same project and you don't show it till everybody's done. And I'm not sure when the deadline is and everything, but I mean, you can't participate now, I don't think, because she's already buddied everybody up, but she had a buddy that she does stuff like that on her channel. So if you like to do stuff like that, I don't have time to do it, um, that kind of thing. But if you like that kind of stuff, Becky does that kind of thing on her channel. I mean, there's other, other streamers do too, but it's just that. Becky did a recent one. So. Yeah. And wasn't it? Yeah. Becky did the wheel of color where she buddied people up with the wheel of fortune thing. That was really cute. And, and too, and of course, you know, mama fruit bat as we call her, you know, we're wing nuts over here. Our, our motto is, you know, we're wing nuts. Anne's coloring channel. And she does other things. She does diamond painting and other things too. But her, she's mama fruit bat. She's a fruit bat. And her fr fruity bats are her people. <laughs> Hi, Holly D. <laughs> um, yeah, I know you don't. Anne doesn't do, she's saying, she's clarifying that Anne says she doesn't do color alongs or buddy, buddy coloring. And I'm, yeah, I didn't mean to call out just those that do that, uh, Anne. Mama fruit bat. 
she does a little, but she does other things. And I haven't watched it yet, but she apparently has a new video out now with uh, some collage and some mixed media stuff. And I got to say that, but back and, and how long have you had your channel now? Two, two years. I'm not sure. How long have you had your channel Anne? but it was so cute Anne started out just with coloring. She didn't do any mixed media. She didn't do any other supplies. She just did coloring two years. And when she first started out, it was so cute, guys. I'm going to, I'm just going to, you know, not I'm not say pick on her, but I'm going to, uh, it's just really cute. And trust me, Anne has a great sense of humor. This is not offensive to Anne. But uh, when she first started, she just had her coloring channel. She didn't know a lot of other supplies. So she, she started getting like, sketchbox and a couple of different of those monthly i don't know if she still does but at the time she was getting some monthly subscription boxes to learn some new supplies and stuff and she got this one box and i don't remember what all was in it but she got she got these acrylic blocks and some acrylic stamps and i don't remember what else came in the box and she went what am I supposed to do with this? She was like totally did not know what to do with some of this stuff. And it's so hilarious. Yeah, I do like to pick on Ann. Um, a fellow Georgian, you know, she's down in Savannah and I'm in Atlanta. Oh, and by the way, I didn't see Ann what you uh Ann, did you answer my question about why you're coming to Atlanta next month? Uh so we, if you don't mind repeating that, because I did miss that. And it was so cute. And oh my gosh, I was laughing so hard. You remember that one, see, uh, Christine? Oh my gosh, it was so funny. And I go, oh my gosh, Ann, Ann, get on the phone with me. Get a messenger with me. We need to update you on some of these things. <laughs> I was so cute. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. And now my eyes are watering I'm because I'm, I'm giggling. But, uh, yeah, I'll try to watch chat for a minute. July is just bringing my niece to see my sister. Okay. M message me when it gets closer to the time. And I would love to be able to meet up with you somewhere. Or, you know, unless you're like on, unless we're on total different sides of Atlanta or something. But you know what? You pass in, I'm right off of 75, Anne. So when you go to Atlanta from Savannah, you have to drive literally right by my house. I am like three miles off the highway. So you have to drive like right by my house to get to Atlanta. <laughs> oh, thank you, uh, Christina Coe. Even when I'm down coloring pencil work now, we'll put the bird picture up after this is live. Okay. Thanks, Ian. Oh, I'm coming over, Ann said. Yeah, even if you stop for a potty break or something. You know, I mean, I could feed you a grilled cheese. You do know that's all I do, right? If Hubster doesn't grill out hot dogs on the grill... You get a grilled cheese. That's what we did. That's what I feed guests. Or we order pizza or Chick-fil-A. You know, we can do pizza or Chick-fil-A, Ann. But other than that, you get a grilled cheese. <laughs> Ask anybody that's come to visit. Anybody that's come to visit. I've probably had about, I don't know, I think I've had, I can't remember. I need to count up. Eight, eight fibs have been to my house. I think it's eight. Well, B, you live off 75 in Ohio. 75 is a long highway. But <laughs> that's cute, B. But um, in, in, unless you go some back road or something from Savannah to Atlanta, you go right by my house. <laughs> oh, Julie, you'd bring me lunch. Aw. Well, when um, Squiz and, um, and uh, oh, my gosh, uh, Jen were here from Australia. We did get pizza. Yeah, we, we did get pizza. Me and Jen went out, uh, drove up and got pizza. But uh, yeah, I think we but I think we did have uh, I think we did have uh, grilled cheese too. <laughs> Thanks, Lynette. And Lynette, I haven't had a chance to answer back my uh, comments over the weekend on YouTube comments, but I saw you made a nice comment. Thank you. That was very nice, Lynette. I haven't had a chance to answer you back. But thank you uh, for that nice comment on YouTube comments. I do notice, guys, I do read the comments, and I try to either like or answer them all back. I try to answer or like every single comment on uh, my YouTube comments. <clears throat> You'd have to come here and cook it, Julie. <laughs> You'd have to come here and cook that. 
<laughs> if I can't throw it in the oven, then it's probably not going to be, um, it's probably not going to be done. I'm taking my time here, guys. I'm working my way down in the blue here. Um, <laughs> we have about another hour. I think we can get this done in an hour. And I will post, all, you know, whether I completely finish it here with all the little white, you know, some little white details or what. I, I will post it on Instagram because I want, and I'll also post next to it in a slide by, a slide over. I'll post the picture of uh, Victoria's book and the uh, and this. So um, I always try to do that when I color in somebody's book. I try to post the picture of their book. And also, of course, hashtag them or link them, you know, tag them in the in the comment. We want to promote our our artist. <laughs> Feed that to Jen. Just saw that, Janet. Uh, how your hubster wanted to color more. Oh, I know. That was cute, Cheryl. Yeah, hubster and I were coloring. You know, if y'all missed it, we did a 30, 35 minute video yesterday, hubster and I did, where we uh, colored in uh, uh, Aaron Shepard's grayscale book yesterday. And we did flowers. I mean, it was Mother's Day, and I knew I wanted to do some kind of flower, and he just picked a flower, too. We just picked them randomly during the show. Um, but he loved the Western books, and we haven't colored any more in them, but he really liked, he says if he colors again on the show, he wants to color in the Western book. And he is up for doing some book tubes, some book reviews. He's reading right now. I said this earlier, you know, a couple hours ago, but there's other people here now. Um, he, uh, he's reading the D-Day, the women of D. Let me go get, let me just right quick. Let me go get the dust jacket. The book's in the other room. The dust jacket. dust jacket was downstairs took it off so he didn't mess it up while he's reading the book so this is the book he's reading d-day girls the spies who armed the resistance sabotaged the nazis and helped win world war ii they were uh uh spies british spies that worked for mi6 and i guess maybe a couple other organizations and uh I'm not sure how many girls he he's, tells me about it as he comes along as a, as a new person uh, is featured. I gotta catch my breath. So anyway, you can read about it. It's on Amazon, but uh, he got it at books a million, I think. So yeah, this is what he's reading now. He's reading this and wait a minute. Let me go get the other one. reading that one and this big huge humongous disney big uh disney biography those are what he's reading right now so i told him when he get done when he gets done reading and that he needs to come on my show and he can have the show to himself or i can just talk with him about it just so he has someone to talk to i don't know how you know comfortable he'll be just like talking to himself um, but he could come on and we could, you know, I'll ask him questions about what he thought about it. And, uh, oh, good, Elaine. Oh, wait, someone, was that Terry leaving? I saw someone. Oh, bye, Louise. I'm trying to catch my breath. I just ran up down. Maya, watch is going to love me for all these steps. <laughs> and my running up and down the stairs. It does keep track of that, too. So, anyway, um. Yeah, and it's got lots of pictures and lots of, you know, information about Disney. Um, it's a big hefty book on his whole life and how everything he did at, at Disney. And look at this uh, bibliography. Look at this. It's like this much is like a bibliography in the back. 
So anyway, uh, he, those are the two books he's reading right now. Yeah, yeah, Anne. Okay, so let's get back to this here. I'm, I'm working my way down, getting, getting the water done around the narwhal here. And it, I, it's just that I have to keep it very light layers. I mean, I'm just barely, you know, I don't want any harsh. I want to keep it very soft and watery. <clears throat> yeah, um, Denise got me an Apple Watch for Mother's Day, Anne. And it tells you if you sat too long. It tells and, and me and Denise are on the on the app on my phone. Where's my phone? Oh, here. We're on the uh, and I don't want to show you our our personal goals and stuff like that, but I want to show you that you can have um, with the, the watch, you can have the activity. So with your activity, it shows all your activities, and then you do sharing. And you can share with somebody else that has an Apple Watch so that you're sharing your steps, you're sharing your um, calories burned, you're sharing your steps. What else is it? Um, your steps, your calories burned, and your... What's the other thing? There's three things. So Denise and I are doing that. Um Oh, the the minutes you exercise, how many how your your calories burn and how much you stand or walk, you know, you're up, you're up moving. Your steps. <laughs> you could probably program that in there, Anne. I don't have I don't have the uh chocolate in there. <laughs> oh my god, I don't need I don't need a lot of chocolate though. So <laughs> um but you share with somebody else that has, you know, I think she and Cam share and uh, she shares with me and uh, I don't know. I don't know who else she shares with. But anyway, so it kind of like encourages you to, um, you know, be more, it'll be a little bit more active. And like I said, the other day, my watch said, you need to get up and it doesn't say it, guys. It doesn't, it just ding. And then you look at it and it, it's texting it to you, so to speak. It just says it you need to get up and move is what it said so i use that opportunity to go to hobby lobby <laughs> i told the girls i tweeted it i said my watch just told me to go to hobby lobby <laughs> my watch told me to go to hobby lobby and then I am working on my gar oh if, guys, if you want to see some gardens, oh my gosh, go to Ann's channel. I don't know. I haven't looked in the last couple of weeks at if she has garden videos up. Ann has the most luscious gardens, vegetable garden, um, uh, flowers. Oh my gosh, in Savannah, Ann has awesome garden. I don't know how it's doing this year. If she's really got into it this year yet. But uh, I did watch it all last year. And I don't know if you saw it. Where's my phone? Oh. I don't know if you saw my garden. <laughs> and look, wait, where is it? Wait, wait, where you go? I'm posting one picture a week. <clears throat> I'm posting one picture a week of how my garden grows, right? <laughs> Let me find where's this week's picture. Where is it? Here we go. And this is it. This is it, Anne. Anne. There, here's my, that's it right there, Ann. And I do have some flowers in the front yard, but there's my vegetable garden, Ann. That's it, girl. <laughs> but I'm, I am showing pictures once a week of how it, how it looks. <laughs> but Ann, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, you want to see some, yeah, she and her dad garden. Uh, and Savannah is so humid, guys. I mean, really, she she's it's like a lush forest down there, isn't it, Anne? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I usually do it. I do that's my garden. It's it's uh, you know, just a square railroad tie garden. I do it every year, we've done it for years, but that's what I'm saying is that's all 
that's all I garden as far as vegetables. I do have some flowers in the front. Janet also, Janet does hers in pots. She does a container gardening and she keeps telling me, you need to do container gardening. And I really do. I would probably like it better. Container gardening. I did do some uh, herbs one year in container gardening. But, um, yeah. It's a little, is it too bright, guys? It is a little bright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a raised bed. Yeah, a raised bed garden. Um, let me go over here and just check. Let me turn the brightness down. Just one little click. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> Thanks, Kenny. So anyway, I'm tweeting out a picture a week just so you can people can see the progress of a garden in a week. And, you know, because I realize not everybody does it. You know, I, if I wasn't gardening, like I love ants, seeing ants. There's no way I'd do all that Ann does. I mean, she cans her stuff and she is, she does a lot. Along with being a mama fruit bat. Right, Ann? <laughs> I'm bringing you stuff from the garden. I will be dill pickles. Oh my gosh! Oh, see, I don't. Uh, we just. Um, I I use it in in uh, salads, and um, I give it to the family. You know, because you always grow more than you can ever eat yourself. You know, neighbors or family or you know. Um, but I don't. I'm not a cooker, canner, none of that. I, I mean, I love me some uh, vegetable garden. You know, like I'm I'm growing. Cucumbers, squash, three kinds of tomato, four or five kinds of pepper, peppers, bell peppers, jalapeno, different kind of peppers. And that's it. The, just squash, peppers, different kinds, different kinds of tomatoes. Oh, I do have a blueberry bush out there. I've never tried to grow a, a, a blueberry. I've, I've grown strawberries. I've never tried to grow, a, but there's a blueberry bush that was calling my name. Um in the garden center. So I said, Oh, I'm going to go ahead and get a blueberry bush. Now, I hope that doesn't attract a lot of, you know, birds and stuff, but you know, we'll see. Just tours with a neighbor and give away letters. Oh, nice. Anne. you're so nice. Anne. Anne is one of the sweetest people. I got a little bit up there on the narwhal. But you know what? I might put a little bit of uh, water um, foamy bits. That might be kind of nice. Might do that. Might throw some uh, throw some foam, watery foam in here. I'm just taking my time, guys. I could be going a lot faster. <laughs> really good. But I'm just enjoying chatting and taking my time. We'll see how far we get. But I will post it. I'll post it on uh, Twitter and Instagram, along with the picture of the cover of the book. And this background, this is what, you know, this is probably taking longer than any other part in the whole page. <clears throat> Oh, thank you. Um, let's see, who was it that said that? Tam um, Tammy, Tammy, is like we were alive, so I had to look. Tammy, which Tammy are you? I don't know. I know a couple Tammies. Ken's daughter's name is Tammy. But I don't think she'd be here. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Sometimes mom watches in the background. I haven't, she hasn't tweet, uh, texted me today, so I don't know if she's, what she's doing today. She sometimes will text me and tell me she's watching. Okay, let's see. I'll add some more to it, but we've got to start. 
All right, but what I want to do is up here in the ice, I want to get some uh, purple. Where's my little picture? Some purple shadows, extra shadows in the ice, and some white, um, some white highlights. I know, so there's a lot to keep up with in streams. I know. Trust me, guys. I know. Okay, so I'm going to put some purple deep shadows in some of the eyes here. And then we're going to highlight with some white. Not everywhere, just... A little extra oomph here and there. I like high contrast. Most people that um, say they don't like their coloring, they say, oh, I don't like, I like the colors I pick, but I don't like my coloring. It's something's just not, I don't know why I don't like it. Nine times out of ten, I can almost guarantee you that it is that they don't have put enough contrast, enough light lights and dark darks. Um, most people that say they don't like their own coloring, that is the reason why. And if you're afraid you're going to mess up a page by doing too many darks or too many, you know, if you're, if you're afraid you're going to mess it up, then just print out a copy of the page you're going to work on and practice on it. Practice on some different colors different ideas, different techniques, and just practice on a on a on a printout on a piece of cardstock and and see, you know, test things out. Then you're not gonna, you know, because I know some color books are very expensive and you don't want to mess them up. I understand. So just make a copy for you to practice on. And then you won't be a you won't be a fearing. You'll see that there. See the difference that makes from this? Just that little bit of purple, dark. Uh, I don't know who Acorn is, Tammy. I don't know who you're talking about. Um, don't put it in caps unless you're talking to me. Uh, just put caps if you're talking to me. If you're not talking to me, don't use caps, please. Because then I'm I'm looking over there and I think you're talking to me and I'm seeing only part of a conversation that's, you know, really not directed at me. So don't put it in caps. I have no idea who Acorn is. So Thank you, Terry. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, I do want to get back to doing another uh, abandoned book piece. You all know I love my Kieran Connollys. And, uh, well, there's other ones too. Kieran just happens to be my favorite, but I like, uh, you know, any of the abandoned places. So I'm just going to add some just random little shadows in here. Don't you have a video in watercolor for backgrounds? Um, not, I don't think uh, specifically for backgrounds, but I use watercolor. I've used watercolor acrylics, neo color. I always use something in a background. So. Pan pastels. That's another thing I want to do some more of. Pan pastels. So there's backgrounds with all of those. But they're usually in combination with pencils and other things, not just, just backgrounds. You ruined an abandoned picture? Oh, I didn't see that. Did you did you record it, Anne? You know you have to record the mess ups too. Well, you don't have to. I do. I mean, if I mess something up I, while I'm doing it, you know, I just you know say, well, we gotta see what we can do to fix it. Is, was there no fixing it, Anne? 
<laughs> I didn't see that video, Ann. <laughs> I'll have to. I don't know if you kept it up or if you recorded it. If you did, I'll go. I'll go uh, peruse it. See if I can help you, Ann. If you want help, <laughs> I was going to. I was going this on my own. No video. Okay. All right. That's probably fixable, Ann. I don't know what kind of mistake you did. I mean, if you spilled a bucket of paint on it or something. Then I would just say move on. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. We got, you know, some different uh, shadows going on in here in the ice. I'll probably put just a little bit also on these uh, ice droplets, just a little down here. Everybody goes, oh, yes, hey, we want to see. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take the process blue. Now I'll go ahead and take white. I'm going to go ahead and go straight into the white for the background here and just kind of um, blend out the blue, and I'll just leave that for the background. I, might, I mean, I might need to do some touch-ups, but I'm just going to go ahead and go over the blue that I've done in the background here with the white. Because I, what I'll probably do is do some um, misty bits, you know, some water wavy stuff in here. We'll see. You have to add that kind of um, little extra detail after everything is done. Because you can't put like water waves over the top of the narwhal until you get done with the narwhal. You don't want to have to try to, you know, color around that. But let me just go ahead and... Blend out the blue water here. Because you want your water pretty smooth. Unless you got big foamy waves or something. How much pressure are you using with the white? Um, Here's the thing about white or black. If you know... You are pretty much done with any other layers. <clears throat> then you can put more pressure. Like I, I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to go back in here with any other color on this on this water. So I'm putting a little harder pressure than I normally would if I was just going to add a, add a white layer. But because I know that I'm, this is it, then I can put a little harder pressure. But I'm not really mashing it down. I would call it medium to hard pressure because I know I'm not going to put anything else down. The thing about the hard pressure on your pay on whatever you're doing, whether it's darks or lights, the thing about the hard pressure is you are burnishing your paper. And once you burnish your paper, you really can't do any more blending. I could go in here now and put another layer. Like I can go back on top of this white look. See, I can go in there and put darker I can add another darker layer, but I'm not going to be able to blend colors together because the, the paper has been so burnished down. You're going to have a hard time. You know, and of course, it depends on how far you've burnished it down, how much pressure you put. That, you know, it's all going to matter. But if you have burnished your paper down, you can add another hard layer of something, but you're not going to get blends. You know, it just doesn't, it just doesn't blend again like it does before you burnish your paper with hard pressure. Um, and I'm kind of doing circular because I'm trying to, I'm really kind of trying to hurry and, you know, um, to get this uh, water done so I can move on to something else here. And I also don't do speed it up videos. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong. Don't email me. Um, but if you do a speed it up video, whether it's a painting, color long draw, whatever kind it is, you got to remember there's newbies watching. They don't know how long that thing actually took. 
I mean, some of us can spend, you know, 15, 20 hours on a piece. You know, you speed it up and it's, you know, 20 minutes. You know, you got a 15, 20 minute speed it up video that took you 10, 15 hours to color or paint or draw or whatever it is. And then they get the idea, oh, you know, I could do that. And, you know, they have no clue how long something actually takes. So I don't speed my videos up now. You know, sometimes I'll do a, a separate part. Sometimes I'll do a separate recording. Or sometimes I'll just finish the piece off, off the air, so to speak. But I don't speed my videos up because I don't want people to not know how long things took. So the option for that is, is if you do speed your videos up, what's what would be nice to do, you know, if you want to be nice to your viewers, is to put in the description box how long it actually took. So if you do a, you know, a, um, and I know a lot of people like watching speeded up videos because they don't have the time to watch a two, three hour. Like I said, what I do is I just scrub through. If I'm watching somebody's recording and I don't have three, four hours, I just skip, skip, watch it for five or ten minutes, skip, skip, watch it five or ten, you know, like that. Uh, I'd rather do that than watch a speeded up video. But at least put how long it took you in the description box. If it took you five hours to do something, at least say, well, you know, I know this video is only 15 minutes long, but in real time, in real time, this was five hours worth of work because newbie artists don't know that. You know, they don't know that. They don't know how long it, it didn't, it took. So. So I'm trying to kind of hurry through this water, though, because I want to get on to a couple other pieces here. Okay, so I could add a little bit of burnishing here and there on the ice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here with Posca for the, the highlights. So I'm just going to kind of add a little bit extra here. Okay. And make sure, see all that blue on there? If you went right now to use this, say, on a portrait, that blue would come right off on your face. So always make sure you have, I, mine's over here on the right-hand side. It's under my computer. I have the brown uh, craft paper on a table under my computer. But I'll go over there and I'll, I'll do this and clean it off. You, you may not be able to see it there. So either sharpen it or just come over here to the side. Here I'm scraping that off. And clean your tip off. Or, you know, if you sharpen it, you want to make sure that those light colors are cleaned off. All right, so let's get crack a lack in here. Let's go on to the narwhal here, the pink and the, because the shells and this stuff, you know. Oh, wait, no, before I do that, let me go ahead and uh, do a little bit on the um, ice. <clears throat> All right, so I want to add just a little bit. And this is also a way for you to get rid of line art. If you want edges, like on, you know, not so much here, but if you want to get rid of like edges on a nose, um, the, my best example of the saying this is like line art on eyes. You know, when artists are drawing line art with the eyes, they have to draw those, you know, your lid, your eyelid lines. You know, you have two eyelid lines under there, or you'll have an eyelid line and you know when you're coloring that in you don't want a black line on your eyelid or unless you put on eyeliner makeup you don't want a black line under your eye so taking a white posca you can like erase any lines that you don't want uh in the in the irises if you want to get rid of that little bit of bottom of the iris you know just white it out so um yeah so i'm gonna just add here i'm gonna add some
pencils over here along the row. So I'm just doing some of the little tops of these. And you can always just kind of like tap it with your finger to get harsh lines gone. So can you see that? Maybe I'll have a little bit flowing around sideways here. So thanks everybody for being here. Thanks for all the thumbs up and hanging out today. I appreciate it. Uh, again, if you didn't get to watch that video yesterday of me and Hubs, I, I really appreciate all the comments. It made Hubster feel like a little more comfortable doing it. Because <laughs> sometimes he's feel like, oh, you know, I don't know, color, I don't know. But when y'all leave those nice comments and everything and, and get lots of views on it, that it encourages him to do it more. And I really want him to do his book, some book tubing, you know, because that's what he really likes to do. He doesn't like to color. He he humors me with coloring, but he really likes, <laughs> he likes to read and he likes to talk books and he likes to talk history. So um, though, all that is very encouraging to him to doing some book tubing. So thanks for, for that, guys. I, I appreciate that because uh, I really, I think it, he would really enjoy doing book tubes, you know, talking about books. I think he'd really like it. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. And so I'm trying to really encourage him to, I mean, he's reading all these books anyway. You might as well talk about them, right? Something like that. Just to have it kind of craggly. Oh, thank you, Kim. And hi, by the way. All right. So then again, maybe a couple little extra highlights on these big dro droplets here. You know. Something like that. All right. Let's do, um, it shouldn't take too long to do these fruits. Um, and then we'll see about how much we can get done on the narwhal. But I probably will get back in here and just tighten up some of the uh, water edges, like right in some of the. But I'll do. I can do this after I do uh, more of the. So it gives it just a little more contrast. But I can go back in there with that after a while. All right. So let's see. Let's go in here maybe with a little bit of the pink. And oh, oh, I know what I'm, oh, I'm sitting on my foot. Uh, I either want to use some, um, maybe some gel pen, uh, glitter gel pens. I have these glitter gel pens. Ooh, ASMR moment. Or some stickles. Or both. But you have to do, stickles is kind of like the same thing with any wave or anything like that that you want to do. I think I'm going to go with... So I want quite that purple, maybe. I'll process red and then just pink. Um, if you want to add any stickles, you want to make sure that you're completely done with the piece because it takes a while to dry and you can't really work around stickles and you can't add other layers. Um, you can't add other layers uh, once you stickled it down. So let's just put a little bit of the brightest pink right here. Little shadows here. I 
see like all this fins here. Now I won't stickle the narwhal, but I'll stickle his fins and his tail and uh, his horn here. that just really makes it very dramatic when you add stickles on especially like an undersea thing where it's sparkly so if I don't finish this um, you know the next uh, 30 and next 45 minutes then what I'll do is uh, uh, I don't know 45 minutes when well, I might be able to finish it it's gonna say I'll go ahead and uh, finish it like while I'm watching Janet or something Okay, so there's a little bit of the pink, and then I'll go in here with the pink. That was processed red, kind of a magenta color. And then kind of go in here and kind of blend some of this out. Then I'll do the tealy color, and then I'll go back in here with some white Posca again for some highlights. And don't forget, guys, when you put Posca on, you don't have to leave it white. Um, I want this white because of the ice, but if you go in here... And you don't want it bright white after you, after the Posca dries. Now you gotta make sure it's dry. You can go over the Posca with another layer of watercolor or pencil as long as you don't give it too hard pressure and just you know rub it off. But um, you can go in here with a pencil on top of it and uh, get some brights in there and the white of the Posca, the brightness of the white of the Posca will stay even if you knock it back with a color. I'll show you in a minute. Local what parents join the telephone pole like <laughs> high coloring with D. So again, there's it's a little on the bright white side, but I don't want the video to be too dark. All right, so let's see um, this color here. Uh, I'll probably go with uh, light aqua and maybe white. I won't get it too, uh, maybe just I want a little bit of teal. Let's see. I might add a little bit of teal color to it. So for the narwhal, I got uh, cobalt turquoise and light aqua. All right. So I'm going to start with the cobalt turquoise and do some shadows. Just a little bit, like right under his, his or her, whichever. Little shadows under the top fin here. And it's curling over, so there'd be shadow under here and then shadow under here. It's flipping over right there. So I want the fins to be the teal and the pink. Oh, thank you, Anne. And paying you now for some things that might fall into my purse when I visit. <laughs> Anne. Oh, my gosh, Anne. You're so cute. <laughs> I'm sure some things will fall into your purse, but not because of you. But I'll probably throw them. I'll probably throw it in there, Anne. <laughs> oh, thank you for the super chat, Anne. You're so sweet. <laughs> You're funny too. Thank you, Mama Fruit Bat. Okay, so a little bit of that color in there, and I'll go back in here again. I'm gonna go in here with the the aqua color, and there's some there's a couple little little bubbles there on him. You know, water bubbles. All right, so now let's kind of get a little bit of shading here, and then I'm gonna blend out. Here comes the cat. 
Uh, and then I'm going to go in here with the Posca and highlight some areas. What you doing there? It's a little Malibu. You sleepy girl. You have your eyes kind of half closed like it's nap time. Where is the eye here? The sleepy head? Are you a sleepy head girl? Mm -hmm. Look up. Hey. Oh, oh, okay. You don't want to do that. You want to walk on my piece here. Okay, you're going to have to move your little butt. It's usually Oliver that comes up here. getting there again I'm gonna want some you know a little bit of darker contrast in here Okay, and then what I'll do is kind of blend it out with the aqua, light aqua here. I want to get to some of the uh, white here. But yeah, kind of chill day today. Chill coloring. I'll show the book here again. And add a little bit more aqua in the fins. Hope you all are enjoying hanging out in the chat. Everybody's usually pretty friendly. If you're if you're not friendly, then the mods have big boots. <laughs> Everybody's usually very friendly. We get our occasional troll. But my mods are like snapping turtles. Snapping turtles, people. So I'm just adding a little bit of this teal right over some of the pink so it all kind of looks like it all kind of flows together. Oh, thank you, Beth. And hi, by the way. I like, you know, even if I'm not doing the project that the person is doing, it's, it's something to have on while you're working, you know. I watch lots of people that I don't do the same kind of art or projects, but I like just having, listening to them. They're fun to listen to, or I'm learning something new while I'm listening. Okay, so there we go. So you kind of get an idea. Now what we are going to do is take the white. And again, I'm kind of rushing through this, but all right. So I'm going to go along the top of the narwhal here and make sure he stands out from the same thing for on the horn here. And even though it looks like a harsh white line, you can always go back over it with your pencil or watercolor or gouache or whatever you're using. <clears throat> Same thing from the tops of the...
it just gives it a little bit more dimension. But you have to do this like, you know, get your base all in there first. Snap and turtles to also have. <laughs> well, unless you're a troll, then you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> okay, let's see. That looks good right there. All right, so now I'm going to come in here. And there's just so many ways that you can do different techniques. I have to try lots of things. What I really want to show you is some water waves. But I have to have this part done before I do that because you don't want to have to try to go color around under and around water or splatters. Let's go down here the, a little bit more on the horn. Uh, and then also, anytime you do eyes of the pupil, I take a Sharpie or a, uh, a Sharpie or a, you know, Faber-Castell pit and do the pupils nice and black or anything that you want really dark. Um, I gotta blend that out, uh, but especially pupils that are black, you want to make sure that you go over them because the color book black most time is not going to be really dark, dark black. So, if you want those pupils to stand out, you need to go back in there. And then after you do the black, you can go back in there with the white. Get that highlight back. Oops, well, that might be too big. I'll wait. I'll let me let it dry and then I'll go back over it. Where do you get your art supplies? Oh my gosh, everywhere, Eleanor. Everywhere. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Oh yeah, there's no, I don't know. Somebody asked about drama. We don't do drama here. This is a drama-free zone, people. You're here to chill, art, very drama-free zone. If you, Here's my thing with, with drama. If you have a problem with somebody, just go take it to them privately. Just go, you don't need to, you know, call, stir up a bunch of crap. Just go talk to the person privately and say, you know, you said X, Y, Z, and it hurt my feelings or whatever, you know. Just go take it to them privately. You don't need to cause a bunch of drama all over the internet. Just go resolve it like adults. And again, here I'm not talking about actual danger. <laughs> you know, I'm not talking about actual danger. I mean, there are, you know, situations on the internet where it could be actual danger, but uh, that you don't go, you know, then you'd probably take it to the police. But, you know... Most drama is just a bunch of gossip and stuff, you know, and you, you, the person, you know, you could, you could be the one just to stop it. Either go take it to the person or just don't talk to that person. Don't go to the shows if it's drama, you know, or don't, don't talk in them if they have drama, you know, there's just, you don't have to, you don't have to make it worse. Okay, so there we go. You can see how the fins are kind of in the blue and the white. 
and I must have missed something. Oh, you got to go, Terry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's my phone? Got to say bye to our Terry. <laughs> I just love doing it. I can't help it, Terry. I love doing it. I got to make sure my volume's up. Okay, have a good day, Terry. And for good measure, so that you sleep well tonight. <laughs> it cracks me up every time I do it too, Terry. Okay, so uh, I want to show you a little bit of the water thing. So uh, do I have enough done here that I can do that? Because I'm going to go over the top, and you got to make sure you got everything else done. <laughs> and, um, and again, guys, if you don't want too wide of lines, let me, um, let me do a little bit of sample of that here. Let's get up. Let me get my um, gouache thing back out. Let me just get a water brush so I don't have to bring the water back and all that. But I want to show you. Okay, so where we did the pink here and the aqua, we can go back in here. And let's go back with the aqua real quick. Let's just do that first. Let's see. Okay, so you can go over the white. Let's, I hope I'm going to get some in my eye, you know. Um, I'm going to go back over where I put the white. With the aqua and the pink. And you'll see what it does is it knocks back. It knocks back the white, but it still stays bright. Right in here. All right, let me clean my brush. I need a baby wipe. <clears throat> and then let's go in here with some pearly pink. So what you see is you're still going to see those the bright of the white, but it's not white. It's knocked it back. I'll hold it up just in case. And then if it, if you lose too much white, you can, I mean, brightness, you can pick out some areas that you want to get back real, real bright. Okay, so let's go like right along the top of the narwhal here with the blue. Or the teal, rather. Just a little bit. So can you kind of see it's just not bright white now. It's just a little knocked back. But I am going to have to do a little more contrast between the water and the narwhal. It just needs, it's they're too much the same. And that's kind of what I was concerned about, deciding which to do um, the fins or the narwhal itself with the green because the water is so uh, the same hue next to it so i'll probably have to go in there with a little um more water something i said paypal tip two weeks ago and not sure if you got one before um michelle email me your address would you please Email me your address and your full name so I can send you something. If I haven't, uh, if I haven't, please send me your address. The part, the problem with PayPal, a lot of people don't tell me who they are, and they there's no email address for me to get back with you to say give me your address because I have no unless y'all give me your address, I have no way of getting you a, a happy mail back. So email me, uh, email me your address, um, Michelle, please. Because I would be more than happy to send you out something. Okay. And if you do PayPal me uh, a tip jar, guys, at least leave your email so I can go ask you for your address. Because I don't have any way to get with you if you don't. How long have you been coloring with colored pencils? Oh, my gosh. 
uh, probably since I was 10. Uh, over 50 years, probably <laughs> over 50 years. Okay. So let's see. Um, I really wanted to do the flowy water, but I'm not done with this yet, but y'all have seen me do it before with the water wave bit coming across like the foamy bit. But I can't do it yet because I'm not done with this. I'm not done with the shells. And so you can't really paint over the top of it until you're done. Yes, thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Pacola. Um, let me, here, let me find one of my places where I've done it. Let's see. Let me get one of my uh, Morphia books here. Let me look in one of my Imagine Morphia books where I've done foamy bits or something. Know, like water or mist so you can see that um, sure I have one in here somewhere maybe not in this one I might have to go to Anamorphia let's go to Anamorphia I'm flipping through all my Morphias um I thought maybe my, but I don't have it on the fish. I have the splat of the water splatters, but I don't have the foamy bit. All right, go to Mythomorphia if it's not one in here. All right, hang on. Let's go to Mythomorphia. Ah, oh, here we go. All right, so here's some mist. So there's mist across the top of this dragon. See all this? This is what I want to do on the water across the top of the narwhal. I want some like, just some like curvy SC, you know, like coming like this across the narwhal. I want some of the misty bits across the narwhal. But I can't do that until I finish everything in the background. So, yeah. Um, here's where I splattered. Um, and this, this one right here is one of my favorites, my Morphia books, my Werewolf. Let me go ahead and back out a little bit now, guys. We're really zoomed in, just so you can kind of see. We're working on a very, fairly small piece here. Um. My werewolf is one of my favorites. It's also one of the most time-consuming ones that I've actually videoed. Um, there's supposed to be, I think, five videos and one didn't record. So there's four videos. And this is way back, guys. This was before I was doing live YouTube. So it's not in HD. Uh, anything that's over a couple of years old is not in HD. It's in high def, but it's not in HD because I did all those recordings on Ustream and on Ustream, we did not have HD. So if you watch any videos of mine that are over like two years old, they're not going to be HD. They're, they're okay. Don't get me wrong, but they're not the quality of what we have now. Uh, but this one is... Uh, one of my favorites, the werewolf, and there's like four videos on this one. So, and that's that's out of uh, Mythomorphia. Uh, so, anyway, let's see. Let's go back here. So that's what I want to do here. I want to kind of do a white sort of foamy bit of water coming across the top of this, but I've got to finish the shells and everything else here before I get. I can do that. So. Um, and then I also want to do some, I want to do some um, stickled. I could, I'm finished with this part, so I could probably put stickles up on the ice. Here, let's go ahead and do that. Because that won't, I'm done with that. So let's see what color stickles. I think I just want clear probably, or what's this one? This one is, what color is this one? I don't know. I really want clear, clear, like clear for the ice, you know, for the ice color here. So this is just, um, 
Well, what color is this one? It's clear. <laughs> Do not spend heavy oil each time, Dee Dee. Just oh, I, no, I know Cheryl, but I don't mind either. Uh, I, I try to send out happy mail to those that support my channel. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just go either kind of just where every place is white. So every place that I have white here. And I'll probably put a little in the narwhal too, but I have to wait till I'm completely done. Because, you know, there's no pencil coloring over, over stickles, right? And then I'll tilt it so you can see it. Janet, did you and uh, Eileen decide what you're going to do today? Janet and Janet comes on at 1 Eastern. And then Jean comes on at 4. And I'm sure there's some other coloring tubers that come on during the day. So, you know, just pick and choose who you want to watch. Yeah, we get, we'll get around to all of them eventually. I usually, every morning, um, get notifications for about um, between 30 and 50 notifications every morning. And you know I can't go watch all of them every day. <laughs> so we just do what we can. And, and, you know, like I said, guys, if they're long videos and you're not just sitting watching them while you're working, then scrub through them, mine included. You know, scrub through them. Watch one or two ads if you can. That's helpful. But, um, you know, watch, uh, just skip through some of the parts that, you know, might be tedious. Like when I colored all that water, if you didn't want to watch me color all that water, just skip through it. Okay, so I think I got pretty much all the highlighted areas. Now, let me just show you what that looks like because it's hard to see. Bye, Gary. Thank you. Be safe out there. Okay, let's see if you can see that. There we go. See that? I think what I'll do is I'll take about five minutes, guys, to show you some of the pieces I've done that have glitter on them. Uh, stickles glitter. The reason I like stickles, guys, is for one... It dries. Um, it's not real. If you just threw glitter on there with glue, it's going to be really bumpy, really lumpy, and really, um, you know, if you go to try to do another page in a book or something, you're going to fight that bump. But stickles, even if you don't, if you don't, you can also just kind of smooth it out with your finger if you want it even flatter. Bye, Eleanor. But that's what that's going to look like there, okay? So, uh, obviously, I didn't get to the fruit, and I didn't get to the shells. But um, I think you saw a big chunk of this done today. And, again, it's out of this book, My Sweet Bestiary. And it's uh, I did a flip of this at the beginning. And she's a Russian artist. And so she did all these fun animals that have sweets and cake. I did a full flip through at the beginning. Ice cream cones. Um, so if you want to see all the pieces there. And here's her information. Um, no, they don't really take that long. They, they'll dry overnight, Faithful. They'll dry overnight. So there's her information. If you want to contact her about shipping, you know, buying and shipping this book. Again, I'm sure the shipping is probably going to be as much as the book costs. But just FYI, she sent it to me to share with it, y'all, and to show you um, her book, So, which I did do. Uh, let me real quickly get my, oh, babies, I got all the babies in here. Oh, I got two more things to do. I also got to read you guys the last, the last um, matchsticks of creativity. So get a piece of paper and pencil if you want some more creativity inspiration prompts. And I'll finish reading those off. That It'll be the last week of those. And let me just show you a few here that I've got uh, stickles on. Let me see here. Let me move this up here. I don't want to get, because now this is wet, so I've got to set this aside to dry. And I'll pull out a few 
that have, um, let's see if I can prop this up a little. Just take the glare. Eh, it's going to glare either way. Uh, oh, thank you, Tammy. Thanks for stopping in. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, some of the ones that I've got stickles on. So what I do is uh, any of them that'll fit in an eight and a half by 11, I cut them out. I mount them on black paper and um, I have them divided out by the kind. Like these are uh, my Bennett Kleins, my B Bennett Kleins. And most of the time I'll write which book they're in. This one I didn't. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Bennett Klein sketchbook two, uh, three. So this one's out of sketchbook three, but I just wanted to show you some of the ones I've added stickles to. I might have to turn that brightness down. It really flashed out this time. I want you to see a little bit of the, there we go. That's better. What's what mean? What's that mean? I don't know what the question is, Tammy. You'll have to re-ask the question. Bye, May. Thank you. Thanks, May. So, yeah. <clears throat> That goes to the, the other page. So I'll show you a few that have stickles. I'm not like this one doesn't have stickles, but this one has that mist. See how I added a mist? Uh, I, I don't know, Tammy. Um, this one has mist across it. Here's a couple. Well, I won't take them all out. I'll show you some of my favorites that have the stickles on them. Ooh. Try to tilt. There we go. So you can see the stickles. And then all this smoke is color pencil. So, yeah. Bennett Klein is the artist that did these sketchbook, color book pages. Yeah. I have all his color books. And I write on the back which book they're from. Which book. This one's from sketchbook four. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the stickles on some of them because it really can add some oomph. Okay, let's see here. These are all Bennett Klein, but they're not, there's no stickles on them. Same for these. This one's just got all kinds of smoky bits on that. It's all, that's all pencil. All that's pencil. Okay, this one is, um, I printed out on craft color paper, and this is all just done with black and white. Here's another one. That's got some stickles on it there. Um, this one, this one is uh, owed to Mae Klein, Bennett Klein's daughter, who is also an artist, and you can see the stickles on. I turned this, this was not a, a palette. I turned this into... Um, palettes and paint brushes so you can turn these into whatever you want you know and then so there we go that stickles on there so let's see here i'll just flip through this real quick if i come across some stickles so these are just some of my color pages that that one's got stickles on it This one does too. Work in progress, work in progress. I don't have them all in here. I've got a couple. Where's my Japanese girls? Are they in the front here? Or do I, I think I they stuck them in the book. My pan pastel girls. These are just the ones that fit in uh, eight and a half by 11 sleeves. Um. They're certainly not all my color book pages. Uh, these are my Jasmine Beckett pages. I was looking for some more stickles. My Halloween one, this one has stickles on it. And I tried to do her 
her clothes and his vest to look like velvet, like crushed velvet. And then all the rest, that's all stickles. And this is all paint up here, hand paint. That's all acrylic paint and painted in the, the uh, lightning bolts and all that. But there's the stickles. And there's a little bit of stickles on those cupcakes. And then there's lots of stickles on. This is my one of my favorites. I showed it earlier, too. I'll show it again. I love my, my mermaid. There's That's all stickles on there. When you're going to do new books, you have video. Um, you, usually... If you want to see what new books they'll, they'll say in the video, go to my playlist, guys. I have a playlist. I think I have a 250 color book page videos. I've, I'm working on, I think, about 1,100 videos total. Um, and at least 250 or 300 of my videos are color book videos. You just have to go to the playlist. Okay, so let's see. There's one that I do with a... Uh, what do you call it? Comic book cover. This is some other ones I've done here. These are out. These are all are out of the uh, Somerset Studio color books. This one is full glitter. Here, let me show you this one. Oh, my watch is telling me it's time to stand up. See, this is what it says. Time to stand. <laughs> okay, so this one, the whole dragon. So you see, I just wanted to show y'all some stickle ones. What it looks like to add glitter to some of your pages. And you don't have to add it. This one's probably got more than any of them. Because I wanted him to be really glittery. But you can really make something really stand out with glitter. This is one we did a test. This is all just Crayola, uh, Crayola crayons. So anyway, I know it's a little flashed out. Um, here, let me show you this one. I think this is uh, Finnick, Serena Finnick. No, this is Ray, uh, Ray, Ray, Raven Fel Felon. I think that's how you say her name. And so you can see. And again, this is what the mist looks like. She has glitter on her. So, oh, here's my, uh, here's some of my Japanese girls here. This one and these three, these three right here are pan pastel and then pencil. So these are done with uh, pan pastel. Uh, a baby wipe, Robin. I apply, I make the mist with baby wipes. Yeah, smashed into, I put it in my hand, I smash it into the baby wipe and then use a baby wipe to make the mist. Yeah. The, but these girls, these three are pan pastels. This one, and it's the Japanese girls by Aikuko. This one. These are all pan pastels and then detail shading with pencil. And this one, this one's pan pastel as well, which I need to do more pan pastel. I know it's just, uh, you know, so many color books, so little time. So these three are my favorite pan pastel ones. And I really like them. So, yeah, and they're all from the same book. But anyway, guys, um, let's see, is there anything else? I think that's it for now. So, again, let me move this off here and show you. Show you the book again. Oh, I got to read these real quick. I got to read our um, prompts. No, I don't thought. I, I, uh, I let Elaine, I spray um fixative i fixative the pan pastels 
but I don't varnish or anything, any of my pages. There's a reason I don't, for one, the main reason is uh, I use so many mixed media. If I use a water-based media, like if I use um, gouache, I can't varnish that straight on varnish it because you'll just move. You'll move all your water media. Now, I know you can try to fix it to it and then varnish it. But I don't do that. I varnish all my, um, I varnish, well, eventually I will varnish all my abandoned book mixed media. But I only use acrylic paint and pencil in that. So I know the mediums I'm using and whether I can varnish it or not. But I do not varnish any of my color book pages. And I only spray seal fixative my pan pastel ones. So this is my sweet this bestiary, bestiary, Victoria Klein. There's her information one more time. Okay, so I will finish that page up. Let me go ahead real quick and read to you the last, the last uh, 10 of the little inspiration sticks here. If you want to hear those, thanks everybody for sticking around. Thanks for all those thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. And thank you guys so much for watching yesterday's video. If you haven't watched it, just watch it to make Hubster feel good. <laughs> Makes him feel good that y'all watch the video that has Hubster in it, you know. Um, I, I just use the Grumbacher. The reason I use the Grumbacher Final Fixative, here I'll show you. No, it's downstairs. Sorry, I it's downstairs. The reason I use that is because it has the least amount of odor. It has the least amount of odor. So the Grumbacher Final Fixative has the least amount of odor. Okay, so here, let me read these to you guys real quick. These are some inspiration ideas. <laughs> yeah, he did good. He did good, Kat. I, I know. Um, he would just be more interested in talking about books or Westerns or movies, that kind of thing, than he would coloring. But he was a true sport. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right. Keep a notebook by your bed. Write down ideas when you wake or if you wake up in the middle of the night with ideas. Now, I don't usually keep a book. I keep post-it notes. If you have post-it notes next to you guys, you will, you know, you can always, um, you'll always have a place to, you know, just keep this by your bed. Okay. I keep post-it notes. Sometimes it's a book, but I have books for other things. So keep a post, at least keep some post-it notes. Okay. And if you're in the Society of Idea Collectors and you have notebooks and traveler's notebooks and three ring binders, so you know the importance of writing down your ideas. Take five minutes and write down as many new ideas as you can. Try meditation or guided imagery to gain a new perspective. Well, I got enough imagination. I don't, I don't really need to do that. Ask people from different professions how they stay inspired. Hone your powers of observation. And that's, that's true. Anytime we talk about drawing, drawing what you see rather than what you think you see, it's all about seeing. It's not, it, I mean, there's skill, hand, eye coordination and, and skill practice involved. But so much of drawing is drawing is what you see. Looking, looking closely. What can you make when you imagine there is no way to fail? If you knew that you could not fail, what could you imagine? Experiment with a new material or medium. Eavesdrop. What do you learn? Make something, a meal, a piece of furniture, or a garment from scratch. Try making something from scratch. Okay, guys, so those are our final 10 little ideas. We try to do one every Monday. One Monday I missed it, and I did them on Wednesday, I think, but um, I tried to do one a week. Thanks, Donna. I appreciate you being here. Thanks, guys. So uh, don't forget, um, Janet comes on at one, Jean comes on at four, and I'm sure there's some other color book girls here that come on at different times. How do you write in the dark without waking up Hubster? Well, a couple ways. One, um, there I have a, a nightlight on the in the bathroom. 
So it's like I have a like ambient light. The other thing is I have one of these lights, one of these that has a clip to it. There's a clip on it and it, it turns, it's just like a touch. See, it's like a touch, has three tiers. So I have one of those on my bed for reading. So this light can hang over my head when I read. The other option is if you just want to write something down, just turn on your phone for a minute. You'll have enough light to see with your phone. If you keep your phone in your room. Some people don't. So there's three ways. <laughs> three ways that I could see. Uh, if, it's, if I have to write down something really uh, intriguing comes to my mind and I really want to write down a lot, I'll just come into my art studio and close the door, turn on the light and, you know, sit there for 10 or 15 minutes. Well, it's not exactly a clap, clam on, a clap on clam. <laughs> it's, but it's the closest thing to the cat's laying on the court. I can't move it anymore. Laying on, laying on the court over there. But yeah, this is just one of those touch ones. Has three... And then you turn it off. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to head out. Oh, thanks, Janet. I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Thanks again for all the thumbs up. I appreciate it. And we'll see what other streamers. Remember, be nice to people out there. Be nice out there. If you got an issue with someone, take it to them personally. Okay, guys, <laughs> you're welcome. We'll see you all around the different streamers, and I'll be here back here on, on Wednesday. Bye, guys.